Okay, wow. Well okay. Did you not bring a topic? Can we get into a topic yet? Uh, please tell me they've got a list of topics to follow. 2,344 instances of the word like when you open the transcript. Dude, this is actually the best, like, propaganda for lobotomies I think I've ever, I've ever seen. Is that even true? I don't feel like that's quite true. I kind of, I get what she's getting at. I can't, I don't know how much longer I can do this. So I say, I actually don't know if I can do this any longer, dude. For fun. Yeah. Why is this a topic for your podcast? Why are you bringing this up? Please talk about anything else. Please, literally anything. This is the hardest I've ever had to work to try and make something entertaining. Erin Straiterade of fourth most popular video on Destiny's channel fame. And and Lycan's uh, mind controlling, brainwashing girlfriend who's making him go against Israel. And Pixie, Deeper Armor's 15 year old squire, uh, have decided to start a podcast together. They've decided to start a podcast together. It's streamed live on Twitch every week. Okay, guys, it's a promo. The Sugar and Spice podcast. Okay. Obviously, I believe that's referring possibly to ethnicity. What with Pixie being. Very white, and Erin not, I believe. I would guess that's what the title's referring to. It's three and a half hours long, so we're going to pull it up, and we're going to watch some of them. I don't know how much we'll get through today, but listen, my chat loves hating women. And I know some of them don't like Pixie, so I'm going to review it, okay? I don't know how good it will be. We'll see. Guys, I'm linking it, okay? I'm going to link it now before we even start watching it and remind you to go like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a brand new channel. So they need help, okay? It's difficult getting off the ground. And I don't want to just... Maybe if I like on their content but also promote them, they'll feel less bad about it. <laughs> so let's go. It's going to be this gonna be fun. No, not Brigade. No, that's not what I'm saying. This is only episode one. <laughs> I know. Well, episode one is supposed to be for the stakes, right? Hi. Yo, pull up the logo real quick. Sorry. Yeah, we do have to do this first. Okay. Where is this? There it is. So, I, it's been in the works for a while. But at Straight Raid and me, first of all, it's Straight Raid and I, Pixie. It's Straight Raid and I are officially launching our podcast tonight at 8 30 p.m. EST. Look at the hand. What is going on here? You, do we think it's AI? Are we guessing AI? AI or Wolfgand? Maybe Straighter Raid just has a f up gimp hand. Okay, deep. It's not even a question, it's AI. Why does the teacup have two handles? For symmetry? Someone like that? I just don't know. Look at the weird shading on her wrist. Who's, I mean, yeah, it also, I mean, I suppose it's kind of weird, like where this arm's coming from. It's like, why is there pink here? Like, she's not got sleeves. Why is there pink there? I, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I thought it might be AI. Hi. Is this good? Hi, chat. All the way in? Is Wait, I can... <laughs> I think I can hear us through a... Uh... Oh, okay, oh. perfect. Yay! Okay, this should be good, right? This Chat. looks loose. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, she's done. Wow, is it crazy how the, the confirmed women in the audience are being the most mean with Ming going absolutely fucking crazy? right now our viewer <laughs> no one else is saying this shit yet supporter <laughs> ditched us for a treat but that's cold what are what is chat saying now is chat already clowning on me wait first give an intro wait okay <laughs> it's the first episode i'm just like so wait they're just launching this and they've got a multi-camera set up and two mv7s why, why did they put so much into this okay Nervous. I hope they're using this gear for other stuff. But you've streamed before. I know I've streamed before, but it's just like weird, you know? It's been a while. Okay, well, hi. 
I'm Pixie. Um, I don't know where to look at. I just, okay, I'm going to look at you or that camera. Hi, I'm Pixie. You guys might know me from general streaming, from <laughs> talking to Red Pill guys. 50 50 chances, some Destiny leftovers. Oh, you mean the equipment? Uh, yeah, I'd say probably, yeah, maybe. Guys, I know a lot of you guys know me because you guys were on my stream before in my chat. So, hi. I'm supposed to be Sugar, if you guys had to guess that already. And this is my co-host, Straighterade. That makes me spice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember who came up with the name. I don't know. I think we were just, like, talking about, or I think somebody mentioned it, like, oh, you know, one of you guys is sweet. The other one's, like, kind of, like, spicy. Not, yeah. And I was like, yeah, true, valid. Guys, you need to calm I down again. This is good for SEO <laughs> because when you search Sugar and Spice, uh, a drag show comes up, so. <laughs> If we ever, if it ever gets to the point where Sugar and Spice actually pulls up our podcast instead of like the drag queens, then we'll we made, made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the idea. Wow, it's all. Uh, didn't I comment on this? Like the moment I heard the name, that I say the SEO for that is fucking terrible. So one day having those drag queens on, and then we can like, I don't know. I don't think they'd want to debate about something, and I don't know what we would even disagree on. But it'd just be fun. We should just do a mini challenge, you know, sugars. We can invite them on and can, and debate them out of their name. We can convince them to give it up. And yeah, let the, us have that Instagram handle. Yeah, please. we're the only sugar and spice. We can battle them to the death, you know. Mm -hmm. Like we can be like whoever dies first. You know, you're dead. Like you don't need the name anymore. Oh, we have to get used to. Uh, Seriously, the whole chat cannot just be comments on people's appearances the whole time. Okay. Seriously, guys. OS language unalive. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Whoever whoever unalives themselves first. First day on Twitch and we're already banned. And they're like, oh, you can't make those threats. Or it's not a threat. I'm saying like gladiator competition. That might happen to be against the OS, but it shouldn't be illegal to talk about it, okay? She your First Amendment right. Have you ever been banned off Twitch? Have I I don't think so. I I'm, I'm pretty good. I have no way to verify if you're lying, so <laughs> you say that. Pixie should have been banned from Twitch several times. He was a fucking menace on that site. Where's my clips? Can you say Can you say happy birthday to my friend Nick Kerr? Happy birthday, Nick Kerr. How I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Can you say happy birthday to my friend? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There it is. Do you know Faye God? Dude. <laughs> Do you know Faye God? I heard she wanted to debate you. Yeah. Cool. You got me again. I hope you're proud of me. I, I'm so... I hope you are so proud of yourself, you know? Like, I... This is literally the fucking third time I have been got. Okay. <laughs> does it give me a... Does it give me hope? No, oh, I've only been banned off, um... What is it? Twitter. For, for what? Saying that Nazis should go die. <laughs> should go on a lie. Yeah, just what is it? You know, I... I I think it's worse to be a Nazi than to tell Nazis to go die. Have you ever seen that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where Dee says that? They were like, you killed, you, you know, killed a man. And she's like, yeah, but he was a Nazi. So it's like, eh. <laughs> it's pretty even. Okay. Hey, I want to see what chat is I'm saying. I'm cringing. Off to a good start. Don't say Pixie thing is loose, Aaron. Um, <laughs> how is, what is it? Yeah. Okay, well, hi, chat. We'll be reading back and forth from mm -hmm. you guys, basically. So we'll be doing more reading because I'm blind and I don't have my glasses on and I don't want them on because of the glare. And she's just as... She's slightly less blind than <laughs> I'm me. I'm slightly more blind, but I have my phone right No, here. you're not. Have really? you never... Which am I? Oh, my wow. Okay. Did you not bring a topic? Can we get into a fucking topic yet? Uh, please tell me they've got a list of topics to follow. You're gonna look I super know. cute and you're gonna realize just how bad bad it is. Let's see. 
Oh my god, wait, no, we're like the same lot. Like I can see with your glasses. This is wild. Yes, they need Mr. Girl as a guest. That would go so fucking hard, dude. Oh my god. So, oh my I've god. never met anybody that can see out of my glasses. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That is insane. One day we're both gonna get LASIK at the same time. We should. That'd be so fun. We should. We should do it at the same time. And then we can do an episode. And then we're, when we're, we're both blind, blind. <laughs> yeah. do the podcast. <laughs> I actually think that'd be really funny. I'd like the idea of just us um, being equally incompetent at everything. Mm -hmm. You know, just like walking. Like who's gonna trip first? Probably be me because I trip over everything. But you know, trip while we were sitting. Do the podcast you'll find a way <laughs> i yeah no like if it's gonna happen to anyone it'll it'll happen to me um all right topic one baby what's up what's up po first <laughs> politics <laughs> well let's pull up the what is it yep it's outdated <laughs> we guess we were supposed to start last week i know i know well i wanted to talk about how fucking crazy um i mean there's just so many things like the whole like louisiana ten commandments oklahoma um i still want to talk about the debate you want to talk about the debate did you actually go back and watch it because we were we had like a watch party but then we didn't even end up paying attention so oh no it was so painful like i could not i would like did cringe. you think he was gonna do well in the first place biden yeah i didn't think he was gonna do terrible i <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. kind of the same thing but not <laughs> no I, I mean the standards are you just you're like he wasn't gonna do that bad <laughs> i thought it was gonna be like you, you know, like some like rough moments here and there, but like not like the entire debate, like terrible kind of stuttering, suffering. You know, he got OK towards the end. Yeah. When everybody had already made up their minds about who had clearly won. But, you know, I, I liked when he called him fat <laughs> and uh, or he said no one believes that you're like 200 something pounds, dude. And then when they were comparing their golf scores. Dude. I like it when he said, um, you have the morals of an alley cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just I can't. Oh, are we speeding this up? Oh, we've got it, right? I... No, really? <laughs> yeah. No, it felt like one of those moments that they tried to make, like, in, uh, I felt like that, it's not as bad as, like, Pokemon Go to the Polls, but it was, it's in that same street, you know, the same know. street as the alley cat. I feel like when Biden says things like that, he just reminds me of, like, an old grandfather. I don't want the president to remind me of my grandpa, though. I do, a little bit. I want him to be somebody who's competent and younger, you know? I agree, but if it's, like, a competition with, like, two grandfathers, like, I want the grandfather who I feel like is going to buy me ice cream and not assault me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and sniff your hair. Just the one just, like, that'll just sniff your hair, but he's not going to do anything more than that. Yeah. Biden, not Biden, Trump has got so many, so many allegations. Yeah, he's so creepy. Many. The, yeah. uh, wow. John Carroll. Was that proven? They proved that in court, right? That's a 14 year old girl or 16 year old girl? No, it was like this author. This is the one we have to pay like oh, all yeah, millions yeah, yeah. and millions of damages to because I actually found a court of law that he had. Yeah, no, it was a civil case. Deep. So it was. Deep. Oh my God. Wait, like the bar for that is just that's more like. That's where the money is at. <laughs> it is. Because the bar is only 50, I think it's like 51%. It's you had a reasonable like, doubt. No, no, that's criminal. criminal. Oh, wait, no, preponderance of evidence? Yeah. Whichever one is the one where it's like 51%, that's civil. Criminal yes. is like 99% or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is just civil. Yeah, so that's got the K ish. You know, Trump says, uh, you know, wacky things, but he is such a showman. He is. What is it? He likes to riff. And I think the reason why, you know, Biden, the Biden team set the rules. But did you see that the article said that he's only active between like 10 to Guys, if you want to support me going through this psychological torture, three and a half hours of women talking about nothing. You can do that by donating, subscribing, uh, liking the stream. Buying a membership, gift a membership. I've got the first one, so I'm adding them back in now. Buying a membership, gift a membership. Buying a super chat. Join the Discord. Discord.gg slash Greenman. Twitter.com slash Greenman. Reddit.com slash r slash Greenman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to support war crimes. Well? That's not, we'll be slowing it down, okay? I'm savoring this. 4 p.m.? Which I was like, same. Uh, you know, I love relating to my president. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm no, like this, so okay. this is fine. Um, but I'm like thinking, if they know this, why did they schedule it for 9 p.m. at night? I know, that's bad. That's like, that's when grandpa needs to be going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. You know? So we like, have you ever seen the first Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah. Or maybe it's Willy Wonka. Okay, I, w I was hoping that he'd have his Grandpa Joe moment where he like would jump out of the bed and start dancing. You yeah, know, go just, crazy, you tap know, dancing. Dark Brandon, where uh, would were awaken you? at the at yeah. the debate. It never happened. Oh. It takes about an hour for Adderall to kick in, right? <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Jesus, dude. 
That's just like, so I, it shouldn't surprise me at all. That's like the exact line I should be expecting to hear right now. <laughs> they didn't give it to him early enough. I think the other thing, that, um, what were the other rules for the, the debate? I think it was that it was the muting thing. It was that they were not going, there was no live audience. Yeah. It was at nighttime. Biden called the shots for this one or his team. And then there, the mics were muted. So they were not, they were supposed to be discouraging them, like interrupting and yeah. talking past each other, which actually made Trump. He was, it was like forced him to be coherent and actually I not know, go I... off on a million tangents because it, when he has an audience there, he starts riffing. He can't help yeah. himself. He literally starts to talk. In mm -hmm. just he'll like go off on tangents that he feels like the audience is like going well to because he's like a showman at heart. He wants to like please yeah. the cr he loves to like please the crowd. Yeah. And so if there's no crowd there hyping him up, he actually is just forced to like address. But he was not answering questions. He just kept filibustering. So they would ask a question, Biden would answer it, and then he he would just respond to what Biden had said. And then they'd ask the next question. Even if they started with Trump, he would just answer. He would just continue to attack Biden's answer. And the moderators, I knew they weren't going to fact check. Oh, that was another thing. They weren't going to fact check. Not until after. Yeah, not until after. But they never stepped in and, and like repeated the question or really did that. Except there were very few times where they did that. I kind of wish that they let him interrupt because I feel like he would have started like digging his own grave or like people would be like, what yeah, the when fuck? he this debated, guy never shuts up. When he debated Biden in 2020, he interrupted constantly, which I don't think looks good because yeah. you're, you're constantly fighting with the moderators and you're fighting with your debate opponent, opponent and that becomes very perceptible very quickly that you're yeah. interrupting. You're not giving them the like, space, space to speak. Yeah. And it sounds like if you're trying to cut somebody off constantly, it sounds like they're, they're going to say something that you don't want them to say. Yeah, like you're insecure. You're like, shut the fuck up. Like, you know, like, let me yeah. say that. And then, like, Biden, we got a taste of, like, what happens when there's no interrupting. Biden just trailed off. And he would sound super quiet and, like, put his head down and be, like, slack jawed and look terrible. Versus Trump, that he would actually, like, complete a sentence and finish it, even if what, what he was saying was insane. Yeah. You know? I God, I, I like feel physical pain thinking about it. Honestly, like my heart just sank. Like, Even I right after he was fine. Yeah, the fucking I when we when the that's what I, the Adderall the, theory the, it kicked the, in. Well, Adderall takes twenty minutes to kick in. Okay. I know because I've used it. I used maybe it. it was fine. Is this gonna? Are we gonna get off the Adderall talk anytime? Vans, five minutes takes two <laughs> hours to hour. kick in. But um, what is it? The fucking rally speech afterwards. I was like. Where was this Biden? Yeah. Like, holy shit, this Biden. Okay, we're skipping the Biden Dude, talk. I mean, there's times where you should file, where there's strategic advantages for filing bankruptcy, but I think there comes a certain moment where it's like, if you have to do it so often, instead of finding something else, I don't know. It's like I sketch. saw a TikTok of somebody that uh -huh. said they, no? they lost their job and then they went into a bunch of debt and then they declared bankruptcy and then it was wiped away. Yeah, your do you think this is, is real? fucked for, I have no idea. <laughs> But their credit was probably fucked for the next seven years. <laughs> individual can individuals file bankruptcy? Yeah, you can file bankruptcy if you have like a shit what? credit card debt. Go for it, but you're gonna be fucked after. Really? No what are they, what is the consequence of bankruptcy? Like ba your your credit's fucked. Like no, what is it? Bank is gonna want to loan to you. Um dude, oh, I can't. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna start saying misogynistic stuff. I'm gonna, dude. I'm pretty sure if you're like trying to rent an apartment. I mean, I think that's fair <laughs> because if you don't, you don't have to pay it back, right? Um, no, at least in most cases, I don't think you can, what is it? I think in ex in ex if they're wiping everything, if they're wiping all of your debts clean, I think that you should not be trusted with money again. So I think that's fair. Yeah, no, that's like stays on your record for the next seven years. <laughs> oh wait, really? Just yeah. seven years? Well, yeah. <laughs> and then it's wiped clean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there must be more to this system because more people would be abusing it. I don't think so because it's, uh, what? Yeah, why are people just abusing bankruptcy? <laughs> Is it? Why wouldn't everybody just rack up debt and then declare bankruptcy and never deal with it again? Hard to. What is it? It's well. First of all, I it's think hard it for. I know it's hard for assets, people to do it. I think. I'm not. What if I have no assets? <laughs> no, but what if you're you're? Baby, don't mess with the fire. This is Aaron's thinking of a. Uh... What is it? Uh... This is Aaron's life. <laughs> Okay. Driven now by a bunch of guys. And you know what? I'm one of those guys. And I drove her for a little bit, played with her bags, slapped her around. I do this thing where I can't get off unless, well, let's not get into that. Anyway, we have a nicely abused rental car here. And now it's time for what every college girl knows, the end of college spray down. Going home to the family. I'm basically a D1 lineman, okay, plowing through these rental cars. 
And before I take them back to the daddy, I spray them down so they don't stink like penis. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you now what you do after you abuse a rental car and there's gonna be no signs of foul play. Let's go ahead with the old high pressure rinse. Okay, let's give it the absolute. I say, uh, this is the intro, here we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that right away. Even if I have the money, you're never getting it. Oh, I'll get that for you right away, sir. Here, here you go. That's me rushing to pay Toyota Financial. That's me <laughs> rushing to pay Aprilia Financial. Oh, I just remembered. Oh, I just remembered. I owe a bunch of people a lot of money. Let me sprint to go pay that. Barclays, I owe you over 2,000. American Express, I owe you over 2,000. Capital One, I think I owe you over 2,000. Aprilia, I owe you a lot of money. Verizon, I think I owe you 800. PayPal, I think I owe you 300. That's money, even if I had it, you're never getting it back. I'm stealing from you. I'm stealing from you. I'm stealing from you. I'm stealing from you. I am stealing from you. An enterprise? If you determine that I owe you money somehow? I don't know. Maybe you put the car up on a lift and you found out. Maybe someone who works at Enterprise is watching this. Ooh. Maybe you find out that I totally fucked up the four-wheel drive system <laughs> in this SUV and it makes a grinding noise now. <laughs> and it's basically unusable on the highway. I don't care, I really don't. Because you're never getting that money back. You're never gonna get me to pay. What are you gonna do? You're gonna take me to small claims court? Is that what you're gonna do? No, because I'm gonna drag it out. I'm gonna drag it out for months. And then I'll say, I don't know, offer to pay you half in a lump sum, but then, I don't have the money, so I'll pay you monthly. We'll, we'll work out some sort of installation plan. Just help me. We'll see. We'll see, Enterprise. This video actually aggravates Queeman. Thinking about a financial institution getting cheated. Okay. I don't. Thank you. If she knocks this at, oh, this is making me nervous. My dog's in the room. Come here. Come here, baby. I'm going to literally put you up if you don't come up because chat's like. Come here. Can you imagine coming into a stream for the first time? I'm scared that she's going to knock that over when she walked over there. Uh, all I can think of is, like, imagine seeing two girls just go up, 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 and being like, what the fuck did I walk into? Here, bring her up. Okay. No, oh, okay. Oh, what's up, man? Don't, don't know you. She just ran away. <laughs> Honey, okay. Yeah. Okay, no, no, uh, no one on the third mic tonight. No, wait, I'm going to... My point is that I think that if people are racking up personal debt, I don't, I think... I wonder if the majority of it is even spent going into debt over assets that are valuable. What if you're just going into debt over bullshit like Zara, um, shopping sprees, and like just material items that are basically, yeah, like low cost, but you just bought a lot of it. You can still go into debt for that. They'll repossess that. What are they? Supposed oh, to do I don't with know it? if they'll completely repossess those things, but I wouldn't be surprised if they. I mean, there's. I, I know they're. I don't know exactly. What are you gonna do? Take me to small claims court. Can, like, basically safeguard ahead of a repossession. Um, I don't know how much though. Like, I'm not sure. I we should get a financial advisor here. Don't take finance advice from <laughs> us, guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's any danger of that. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Okay. Let me get a. I like to keep it in business. I don't know anything about this because it's ne it's just Bank. never it's never wow. really occurred to me. I have a credit card that I barely touch. It's never occurred to me to like use other people's money. I absolutely hate debt. I don't. Yeah. I've never had a significant debt or anything like that, and it's probably gonna stay that way until I try to make some like huge purchase because. No. It just it's crazy to me it doesn't that video was the inspiration for doom media's entire business model Press people out <laughs> yeah that's why i don't use even it. if i had that money i, mean, I saw i You'll saw never a thing on that was like somebody like saying how much they loved a cruise line because even though it's thousands of dollars the only like thing that you have to put down that day is like 50 bucks mm -hmm. and they're like whatever i'll just deal with it later 
like the deal with like a five thousand dollar trip later and i'm like how does that not just keep you up at night yeah that's wild to me i mean people are like sometimes like oh just do small purchases so that you know because you could get points and rewards back and i'm like i'm just no. terrified i'm like i'm gonna forget like i, I did that but, like i've done that my whole life but it doesn't really build up your credit score they know what you're doing um i used to like i would just do that make like make small purchases on it and then immediately wow. pay it off but they know they can see that that's what you're doing you're not actually it's not really a metric that they're using to actually test if you are liable to pay it back. Yeah. Because you're just paying it back instantly. You would have to take out... They're, they're only doing that with, like, car loans and stuff, right? Or, like... Wait, what? You, does she think that... No, all your credit builds... Any credit will build credit score, no? If, if what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Metric that they're using to actually test if you are liable to pay it back. Yeah. Because you're just paying it back instantly. You would have to take out they're they're only doing that with like car loans and stuff, right? Or like significant life investments like car payments, student loans and stuff like that. Like can you get a huge bill and pay it off slowly and reliably? But I don't want to do that. I want to pay it off instantly and I want it to go away. <laughs> just don't be on it. Here. I want to see chat. What's chat? That up, maxing. So? I want to know how tall pig is Pixie. I am. Perfect. Oh no! The, the perfect. No, oh my no, God. that's perfect. I guess we have to stay wide because her camera fucked up already. Is it my camera that's fucked up? Yeah. Should it I, is, try I to fix it? <laughs> oh, we do can just turn it off and on, right? Um. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I'll text. I'll text our producer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I am 5'7", so I like to think I'm the perfect height because I am short. Wait, just, uh, is it from a chat comment or what? What is this? Short enough to be a Disney princess and tall enough to be model technically. You have I'll to go to that. The uh -huh. Disney princess. Okay. Yeah, it's a, what is it? I get to be both. Every time a girl's like tells me like, oh, I wish I was taller or whatever, whatever. I was like, no, like you're Disney princess height. Like that's good, you know? So you can't be over 5'7"? Yeah, that's the highest. Wow, I didn't Disney know that. Princesses. Yeah. Did you know that anyone who's at Disney who is actually showing their face has spent time inside a mascot? You can't just skip right to the princess really? track or to the people that dress up and be hot. Every single person has to go through a time, a period where they wear the suits. I did not know that. Which is unbearable and not worth it. Did you, you know that, like, the, the Disney University thing is a scam as well? Oh, I've heard that's a scam, yeah. That's, like, what is it? You basically pay to go to school and yeah. work for them. You're not actually getting a scholarship. Or there's very, very few people that actually are getting scholarships from this. Yeah. Um, I heard Disney pay is not the best either. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun to me. Like, the novelty, the fact that, like, anybody works there mm -hmm. is shocking to me because it's one of the most expensive zip codes. It's even outside of it, it's going to be really, really expensive, even if you try to live in the projects, like, right outside. I feel like it's a cult, honestly. <laughs> I feel like Disney people, Disney adults. <laughs> Disney adults are a little cultish. I have some friends who are Okay, she's kind of spitting here. Why I'm are they still here. your friends? <clears throat> I'm allowed to have cult friends, okay? I'm friends with Republicans. I'm friends with everybody. So you're saying Disney adults are on, on par with Republicans? <laughs> Maybe in, like, levels of obsession there's levels to this yeah like are they I, disney bound do you know what that is dude do they actually ever talk about anything like that's not just totally inane roller coaster heavy but no even that one with like the rock and roller coaster the like aerosmith one like that if you said it no to me i think it's very obvious but maybe it's just one of those things that like you know if you know you know chat can you tell that she's wearing a wig well they can now well you, you just said it was really obvious and so now i want to see if they think it's obvious or not um, there was something I was going to do and then I totally forgot. Oh, I was going to talk about our Discord, but maybe I should wait for the end or whatever. I don't even know when the end's going to be. No, we can shout out the Discord. People can come to our Discord, go wild in there, go crazy. Well, I'm planning to, like, be there more often to, like... You say that now. No, I will. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel like I had my little cute Discord and I let my community die and I'm just like... I want to see every. I want to see every person who's watching us. I want them to send a selfie on our Discord. There's nothing more sad than like a dead. Jesus Christ, dude! That this is like the worst opening, opening gambit to building a community I've ever heard. Oh, I just want. I just want all my friends. I just want them all to post selfies so I can see them. This is just terrible, man. A Discord, so I do want to be more active in it. Yeah, it's like I actually think that the key. 
is not having too many channels mm-hmm. because I go into a ch- like anytime I go into a Discord and there's like thirty, I think it's like it's overwhelming. It's too much. too much, and I also don't like the ones that just have like the bare setup. Yeah, I have one my own Discord that mm-hmm. I don't even know if anybody like has the link to or whatever which i hope they don't because i go i literally just use it to spam photos to myself or That's like so whatever funny. when i don't when i need to send myself something but i don't want to send it to like it so i just send it through yeah. that Dude. discord and then <laughs> after a while i'll clear it out That's so, so. funny. <laughs> and i also did it wait do you ha- can you can you can have like um the same discord name or discord does d- discord make you have like a unique username like if it's like i think so Wait, this is three hours. Yeah, yeah, we're in for the long haul boots. I think you can't. Like, if I wanted to name, what's yours else? named? Pixie. Yeah, just Pixie. What do you mean? How they not run out of topics? They they didn't start with any topics. <laughs> how can you run out? Yeah. <laughs> not even like Pixie's. Uh, no, no Pixie love. Den or Pixie, Pixie love. Nothing. Okay, I was gonna say like if so if I tried to create a Discord just called Pixie, oh, it wouldn't let Discord me. Discord server. I yeah, thought... the server name. I mean. Oh, the never mind. Name. Never mind. I thought you meant my just. Add me on Discord, Pixie. Oh, yeah, that one. No. I mean, I got super worried when they changed the Discord thing so you wouldn't have, like, numbers that yeah. somebody was going to take straight away. Yeah. I mean, my biggest panic was a few months into being, like, p- online, mm-hmm. I realized I wasn't for sh- it wasn't for sure if I had actually grabbed my the Cash App username. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. If somebody else has gotten this Cash App username, like, I'm done for. <laughs> and then I went into the Cash App. There was money in it. So I was happy. And then I didn't I didn't realize I had already gotten that username. Yeah. But I had, like, a personal one that I was logged into, so I didn't remember getting it. Yeah. So thank God. For me, um, what is it? My original Discord. Wow. Awesome. Amazing story. So I didn't know if I got my Cash App username, and then I got my Cash App username, and I realized I had it the whole time. And I was logged into the account already, and there was, like, money in there. Oh, dude. <laughs> it was called Pixie's Cult. Yeah. Is it what it's so called? Yeah. And there's a picture of me with a bunny ears. How old is it? The popcorn. <laughs> I made it in 2019, so it's five years old. Now. So why did you go online? Why did I go online? Yeah, how'd you even find this? I was bored. I was just, my parents had moved from Puerto Rico to Florida. Um, so it was summer after my first year of college. Mm-hmm. And uh, I didn't know anyone and where they were at. Like, all my friends were in Puerto Rico. I, I had my computer and I was like, fuck it. Let's ball. Let's stream. Maybe I could make up for buying this, the parts on this computer. Wow, great. Now we get the full blown Pixie streaming law recap. Amazing. And all my friends were like, all my guy friends or whatever that were, whatever. They were like, just letting you know, like, yeah, barely anybody gets viewers on like twitch i mean that's true <laughs> they're like the maximum you're gonna get is probably like one or two and that's like okay that's actually really good especially for your first time and then the first time i streamed i got like 12 viewers that is really good yeah so that was that was fun the perks of being a woman yeah that's yeah, that's female privilege yeah, right there right there right there baby <laughs> um and then what is it after that I, yeah, I was just really, so I just kept going. I was like, fuck it. I used to stream like eight hours, like if I was nothing in the beginning. I can't do that now. Now I'm a baby. I wouldn't want to because, I mean, I used to live to move with my parents until very recently. So the prospect of streaming for long periods of time, whatever, it was just like the idea of having to tell my parents, like, no, get out. I'm streaming. It was like <laughs> enough to discourage me. Like, no, I'll just wait till I leave. No. Oh. Because <laughs> I didn't want to. I don't want to exp- I don't even want them really knowing that I'm live. Mm-hmm. But I don't care if they watch my content. Oh, really? I don't want them watching your content at all. No. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not saying anything I wouldn't say to them in, in person. I just get, I'm like, I get cringe attack when. Okay. I can't listen, Boots. You can't be saying this. Okay. Anybody I know. Like, even if I know somebody in real life and I find out that they're, they're like, yeah, I've watched your stream before. I'm like, why? You know me. <laughs> Please just stop. Because it's a different version of yourself. Well, I yeah. mean, once you turn that camera on, it's like you're you, but you're, it's like an enhanced version of yourself. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm a, yeah, I am a different version, but it's still me. It's still like genuinely me. But it's also like, I think it's more intimate in a way. For some reason, I feel like, yeah, it's a type of thing that's like, I've never told a soul this, but I'll tell these, like, yeah, 1,000 strangers people. this. Why not? Who cares? There's no consequence to it. Yeah. It's the same way people are more liable to, like, trauma dump. Holy fuck. I'm actually going through psychological trauma right now. This is horrible, man.
They need to come up with a list of topics. I need. I just need. They have to just come up with a list of topics. Come up with some clips to watch to discuss or something. Just holy fuck, dude. Yeah, it's complete nonsense. It's literally just like overhearing any conversation between women in public ever. How many likes in there? <laughs> oh, God. Two thousand. 344 instances of the word like when you open the transcript. Came to strangers and stuff like that, or just randomly disclose shit that they haven't told people yeah. close to them. It's just like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, the internet will keep your secrets. Yeah. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, baby. And document all of it for you so yeah. you don't forget it. <laughs> I mean, I forget up all the time. I mean, my friends have said that I sound very different. You know, on stream. Yeah, like they don't think that I sound the same at all. Like, do they think your personality is different, or maybe it's code switching? I don't know. I think you're like basically the same. Like, I don't know. I think you're slightly even less snarky on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it is. Like, like all my friends from back home have said that I'm very different. Interesting. I would. I. I don't let my friends watch my shit, so I don't know. They have to know who you are, even if you don't, right? I mean, do they? Yeah, just because of my Instagram, that's it. Otherwise, I mean, all my know. friends have Twitters, mm -hmm. and... They th what are we watching? This is uh, two female Destiny Orbiters starting a podcast together. They have this type of... Tw they have totally normie Twitters. They have their entire... Their, it, they treat it like an Instagram. They treat it like what Threads is or whatever Instagram's trying to do now. Yeah. They upload personal photos and they talk about their day and stuff. And they're retweeting oh. and they're interacting with celebrities. That's so wholesome. I know. Dude, this is actually the best like propaganda for lobotomies I think I've ever, I've ever seen. I've never thought that maybe we had it right. Maybe we had mental health care right uh, decades ago. More than I do right now. Well, I thought for a long time that's all Twitter was, and that's why I wasn't interested in it. I was like, if it's just more, more of your Instagram, friends, but yeah. just off, offline and their personal life and stuff like that, it's never interested me. Aww. I was even going through my Instagram and like considering unfollowing people from high school and stuff, even though they still follow me. <laughs> it's like bye. Well, because it almost feels weird to be liking people's pictures in my feed mm -hmm. that I went to, I haven't talked to in years, and like probably never will talk to again one on one. Yeah, but I didn't want to get rid of it like i know whenever i've gone to like see people's profiles and i notice that they don't follow me anymore but they didn't take me off of theirs i'm like what am i your fan or something yeah, <laughs> like just are. take me off at that point <laughs> no i like what is it because if i had followed somebody i would manually remove them from my follow list as well oh really yeah because there's no at some point they're gonna probably notice that yeah, unless you bro i i seriously now we're doing discussion of the social cues around uh, uh instagram interaction instagram engagement I'm losing it. This is worse than Red Bull Podcast actually is. Uh, I'm the type of person that follows like a thousand people, which has oh. always stressed me out. Oh, I feel like this is weird, but I have like this desire. I want to know what everybody in my high school is doing. I don't know why. I don't even care that much. I'm See, are you the type curious. to be excited by the high school reunion? No, I feel like, I don't know. That's kind of like, I want to. Out of, I have this deep curiosity where I just want to be like, I knew you like, five six years ago where are you now how is your life how have you changed have you changed no i see it because my friends put it all up there and they have boring normie lives that i'm sure they're very happy with uh i don't like uh, so many of my friends are married like 24 from like this a super heavy catholic area i'm like you're surprised well, i just it's been ingrained to me it's been bitch slapped out married and with kids or just have kids, obviously. Oh my gosh. I know. And so, like, I would say about, like, half of my friends marry people from high school or people that they didn't date in high school, but they went to high school. Wow, isn't it crazy how, like, when you get into, like, your mid-20s, people, like, start getting married and, like, they start having kids? Isn't that, like, crazy that people do that? <laughs> uh, it's just... It actually makes me want to start, like, hitting myself in, like, a toddler age. Do you know what I mean? I just want to start just... Just losing it. <laughs> ...to high school with, oh, which is no. insane. 
my i mean that was my prospect basically for a long time like everybody was so confused like why did you never date people's like what do i have in common with everybody from like my tiny conservative like catholic town nothing want babies so already. yeah who want to get married and they want to have kids right away and they want you to like live in that area they don't ever want to move so i was like i have no aspirations for that so it's already like dead on arrival for me like having anything in common with these people yeah no i'm like terrified of having children before i'm married and probably before maybe the earliest i would have them is like 28 and even then i'm like thinking in my head that's just a few years from now that's so early would you have kids over 30 yeah most of my family most of my family has gotten married <laughs> it's just like if a taylor swift song became two people and had to have children oh, at that age or old i assume my family got a baby at 49 i wouldn't have a baby at 49 <laughs> that's okay that's like i'm already halfway through death's door like you know like i know you're literally, century. literally almost half a century that's crazy yeah i don't without well, poor child <laughs> you know I, I don't know they were like one of like eight kids so one of eight and that's a lot of kids I anything know. above three kids in my opinion anything is about the fuck is this three hours long we're gonna find out we're gonna find out but more when you have more kids than parents one of those those kids start to have to raise each other because the parents aren't around i think you can handle three kids i think that's like pushing no. it but you can do it no i don't know it's no the only way that you can do it is if you have a huge age gap between some of the kids and you only have to deal if one's already close to high school and graduating and they're gonna leave soon then yes you can handle it but i don't even like huge age gaps between siblings kids. really yeah i don't know i because they're not going to relate to each other like i didn't relate to my fam my like brother until i was closer i was in high school an adult basically because of our age difference yeah i think um what is it i don't know maybe it's because my family has a Spice Pit Live should be brought back to watch part of this whole thing. <laughs> Man, I can't. I actually don't know how much of this I can do. Because they're just like, you're sitting there, they're just sitting there talking about like, like the most inane. It's just small talk. It's just fucking small talk. That's all it is, all the way through. It's, it's just like hearing a conversation at a coffee shop, right? They're not actually discussing anything. Big support network or whatever. Me. will help take care of the children. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no, you're, you're no. dead set against it. It, just, it like... also stressed me out because it's like, the more kids you have, the more childcare you have to pay for. Like, unless you have family. I mean, I had family taking care of me, but... Um, when my relationship with my family was a lot worse, I was like, they're never going to know when I have grand when I have children. And they're never so when was this, last week? Or no. No, <laughs> um, Wait, you didn't want to tell them that you had kids? Well, when my relationship with my family was really bad, yeah. You had, like, dreams about, like, oh, I'm just going to go off and never tell them where I am. Yeah, basically. And, like, if my children were, like, who's grandma and grandpa i'd be like oh like no i don't have that type of family <laughs> i have the type of family that like checks in on me daily they would file missing missing persons report there's no way i could like fly under the radar i think we've all had maybe it's a self-report dramatic moments where it's like i'm gonna hit a certain age or i'm never gonna talk to my family again i want to like you know restart a whole life somewhere else or whatever my family would just like not be the type of family to that they would never stop trying to contact me well I think the same with my family, but the difference is, like, when it was really bad, it was, like, I just, uh-uh. No. <laughs> well, at that point, it was just because, like, I don't want my child to be exposed to this shit, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, things are good now, guys, with my family. I know everyone was so worried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My wife I mean, was so about right about Pixie. About stuff, I'm like, does this interest people? Do I care? <laughs> Pixie has made her parents into... The lore. Content. Yeah. True. <laughs> I love when my dad's on stream. It's fun. Um, are your VODs disabled? Oh, shit. I think our VODs are disabled. Yeah, they are because we were doing test we, streams. We were doing test streams. Okay, explain that. Not my idea. Explain it. Well, no, because to get the requirements to be just an affiliate and start getting subs on here, you have to stream for seven days. And I was like, I don't want to stream for seven days. Yeah, we, don't, like, we still don't even want to do that. We're planning on doing two streams a week that are very long and in the meantime we're still gonna be doing test streams that 
are going to be just a few minutes of a dead screen because we want to hit that without actually doing it, right? Yeah, but I think we hit it after the stream. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know. I lost track. Fuck. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out soon. So we might be live for like five minutes and you guys can pop and say hi, but it'll be, probably be a dark screen. I mean, I think it's crazy that you don't lose your affiliate status at... You can't lose it, right? Um, No, you can't. Not from I know. I would You're have stuck lost forever. It. Yeah. Are you a partner? Um, no, I could. I, I had moments where I could be a partner, but I chose not to because it was like, oh, then I can't multi-stream, blah, 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 blah. But now you can, so I might as well be a partner. Um, will you upload the Holy fuck, man. The like, minutes, but just, I don't even yeah. know. Also, Gate stuff had a lot of thumbnails where they would just have the image of the creator, and then they'd do like a yellow background or whatever, mm -hmm. which I always thought looked terrible, but I guess it was good for the... They were algorithm maxing even then. The little children love bright colors. Well, she like never did Elsa Gate stuff, but mm -hmm. then later when I saw other people doing that, I realized, I was like, I guess this gets more clicks, even though to me it's less visually appealing mm -hmm. to have this like... Okay, I, so I mean, they're talking about a topic now. I guess so. I'll, I'll do the background of this topic. I don't think they did. They're talking about Elsagate, which was a controversy on YouTube a few years ago, where they, uh, where there are a bunch of videos, part content farms, pumping out videos that were like weird Spider-Man Elsa sketches, where they did strange adult stuff, and it was getting fed into the YouTube Kids algorithm. So I mean, they didn't explain that, but I guess we'll. Bright. bright yellow stuff it's really insane to think how long it took for people to realize that like you could make how to use like high quality mm -hmm. videos and stuff like that yeah like thumbnails and, because i didn't start to see nice thumbnails on youtube for like even basic users that were just getting started till a few years ago that's wild I mean, I mean most people don't have like photoshop skills or anything like that but you don't realize how much people are literally at the graphic design is my passion level mm -hmm. until you start to see them have to like create content and thumbnails like that because it looks bad <laughs> and now everything looks like it's off canva yeah which I is worse like <laughs> um you're like it's not good enough we gotta stop no, because i game. would take people having shitty terrible thumbnails but have some character to them over these like ai generated like ugly like what is a... it's just it looks boring you know or like it tells me to stay away because it tells me that this is a person who doesn't create any original content they're clearly it, wait i mean their logo is like ai though no i mean it looks ai they've got the the hand is all fucked up here there's a sleeve despite the the thing not having sleeves there's two handles on the teacup I mean, it seems AI. It might not be. Trying to, like, just maximize the amount of people watching them, but they don't have anything to say. What is a good thumbnail to you? A good thumbnail to me has, like... I don't know, because there are thumbnails that are probably not the best for the algorithm. Like, have you... Or do you subscribe to this chick that's, like, uh... Like, Chronically Online Girl explains, like, X lore? What? F well, no, it's her... Is her name Chronically Online, or is it... Maybe it is else? that. Yeah. No, Nicole something she Nicole just calls herself Vincent. that but i know that's not really like what her name is i if it's the person i'm thinking of which is i think her name is nicole jensen i found her when she was still a small creator i yeah. remember seeing her videos and showing them to my ex and being like oh my god she's so funny she's funny and her but her thumbnails lately now is like she'll do like a collage of whoever she's doing like a deep dive on and she'll mm -hmm. just be in front of it like holding it but unless and now she's kind of creating her own niche with that because oh. like i see it and i know immediately like oh that's her i think we're talking about two different people because the person i'm talking about does like really like deadpan sarcastic like pop culture review basically no, of like movies and stuff you guys know who i'm talking about chat what have an awesome stream um no it is nicole look this chick no it's this okay <laughs> these are two different nicoles i keep trying to salvage it it's not gonna work okay look at what she does though explains challengers lore and that thumbnail i wish i could show you guys we don't have the tech for that now we're just talking about youtube thumbnails for a huge amount I mean, of time the rules okay really strict when you started i feel like i i just want to know how the fuck do um what's it what's it called i can't remember the name the true crime stuff how the fuck does that survive on the internet like that is so unserious like this serial killer no sorry the serial oh, what do you say instead of killer can, can you, you say, killer? say killer yeah I think you'd okay say killer. this serial killer unalive someone on april 2nd i mean there's a uh do you know francesca fiorentini no 
her podcast name is literally the bituation room which is crazy to me <laughs> because how are you supposed to i i can't even believe maybe i'm overestimating how safe these platforms are mm-hmm. but i feel like that's instant deprioritization you know okay christy carlson romano and what's her name oh, i don't know i don't know they have a podcast creators. But it's like they had a podcast that was called like Two Bitches Talking and it took them forever to realize why it wasn't gaining traction. The reason why it wasn't gaining traction is because it's not. Bitches? It, they were getting like uh, shadow banned. That's because so they have bitch funny. in the name. So, I mean, I could have told them that. But. <laughs> like, wait a second. Um. Um. Hashtag wasn't concerned. I want to talk with Kat more often. It makes me happy when I see people be chatting around with Kat. Yeah, we are we are 46 minutes into this podcast right now, guys. I'm still not sure what the topic is. I'm not sure what the podcast is meant to be about. I don't know what the appeal is. There haven't really been many jokes or anything particularly entertaining. They just spoke aimlessly about Poorly informed opinions on finances. YouTube thumbnails. Eight-year-old YouTube drama. <laughs> My God. Chat? Chat. Oh. What is going on? Yeah. I was like, like who is she? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kat is actually my best friend who you never met. Okay. And she looks a lot like Ariana Grande. This episode has been so unfocused. Episode. <laughs> oh, but because we were going to stick to topics and then we just ended up bouncing around. Well, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you know. Get it, no, mad. it's not. Get the it back on track. Person, like, mm-hmm. who's gonna, who are we going to get in trouble with this time? <laughs> no one. So I don't care. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I thought you were referencing something. Okay. Message it to me because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> are they uh, why do I thought that's get about progressive victory? We're going to stick to topics that we just ended up bouncing around well, but that's, that's fine that's fine <laughs> you know i'm not gonna be mad the only person like mm-hmm. who's gonna who are we gonna get in trouble with this time <laughs> no one so i don't care <laughs> what do you mean oh i thought you were referencing something okay message it to me because i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> okay i'm gonna sorry guys for the secret memes <laughs> Need to have a chat monitor up that you can see at all times. We time. do have a monitor. It's it's lying. right in front of you. But see that? Got, I mean, why does that just come off? Like, like who else would they have gotten in trouble with for the topic of a video or a stream? The only thing I can think of that being is like stuff like that child incident. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But one, it's pretty useless because we're both blind. The other thing is that we didn't realize until we hooked it up like five minutes before because we're really prepared that it it's lags the whole time because it's like and said it has something to do with not being po- properly hooked up to like a graphics card in my PC. It's about my- Chad would give up in 10 minutes. Obviously, Chad would not cover this. Chad would die trying to recover this my pay grade so i don't know but maybe that sounds right i'll have them fix it later okay tell me i'm gonna show you i thought you were talking about this person when you were like who's gonna get mad at us oh <laughs> no yeah <laughs> i was like you can't say that no even if they watch i don't think they'd understand that would be like no, only only that's only on your radar right now. Dude, I just I don't know. <laughs> Should we actually try to go through our topic list? Yeah. I kinda wanna do Am I the Asshole stories, but that's maybe we should talk more politics first. Let's do more politics because it's just gonna be us looking at our, our phones the whole time well, on that okay. one. So let's talk no okay, wait, I wanted to talk about this one. So I recently watched a show on Netflix called America's Sweethearts, Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. And have you ever seen oh the my God. DCC making the team? No. That used to be on like CMT. Oh my God. Channel, I don't know. It used to be on another thing. It was just a documentary talking about uh, making the world. Please, please, please tell me, please tell me that mentioning the Netflix show or the documentary or whatever it is, is just a way to springboard into a new topic and she's not actually going to sit here and talk for an extended period of time about a Netflix show that only she has seen. Please. 
world's most famous like cheer squad, which I guess the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are like a cut above because I couldn't name you any like notorious or even like highly visible cheer team for any other sport or squad. But the DCC, like the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders for some reason are. Mm -hmm. I don't even think of the Cowboys as like, I under, I didn't realize until I watched the show just how big they that are. particular team is. No. Yeah. Because I don't no. think of, have you ever no, seen the like, playbook? Yes. Okay. There's a line where the dad who loves the Eagles is talking to, he's like, what's more American uh, than a cowboy? Like the friend says that. And even though he's like in Pennsylvania, he's like rooting for the Dallas Cowboys and he's like, well, an Eagle, <laughs> which is what's more accurate, a cowboy or an Eagle? I mean, oh, okay. We're talking about pure American icons. Yeah. What's more American? I guess I would tech like, I think Eagle. That's I like think intu intuitively I want to say Eagle, but if I think about it longer, I feel like Cowboys. Like cowboys culturally, like eagle in like a fit because like eagle. I feel like cowboys popular. is more like a thing that you associate with America. If you're in leave me alone, <laughs> ah! Akira. Ah! So I'm feeling right now again okay? in the south, and mm -hmm. I'm from the south, so maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeehaw. But eagle, I think, is more broadly applicable to, like, the entire United States, so I guess I would give that to him. Yeah. But point being, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, or the Dallas Cowboys franchise is way bigger. I fucking hate football, so it's so boring. Like, Were you forced to sing the Pledge of Allegiance? I was forced to say it. And I was still young enough, or, like, old enough, however you want to think about it, but there were a few years where Under God was still in it, and then they changed it. Did you have to do that every morning? Yeah, hand over your heart and then hands to the side. And then when I was an epic, late, uh, late epic uh, Reddit atheist in high school, I would not say it. I stopped saying it in middle school and then I stopped standing. Yeah. I, I was edgy in high school and I was like, I refuse. Now I, I'd probably just fucking do it. I probably wouldn't say it, but I'd probably stand still. I probably, what is it? I wouldn't have done it. Epic. I mean, in Puerto Rico, we'd never did that shit. So I thought it was like a joke. I was like, Jesus was like, Christ. Was North Korea when I first heard about Why that. Why would you guys do it? Well, no, we wouldn't do it. I did the same in elementary. Yeah, I mean, in primary schools here, I assume it's the same for, I think it's pretty common. Pretty much everywhere, in fact. I know. You have to, like, say prayers in fucking primary school and assembly and shit. And so I, I was, you know, me being... Seven to ten, seven to twelve years old. I was absolutely not saying, not saying the prayers. Oh, I thought you, there was never a point where you had to do it. No, the only time I was gonna say that's aspirational because you guys are like a territory. <laughs> um, the only time you guys probably should be doing things like that to demonstrate to the U.S. Three toed Polly hitting the uh, hitting the hitting the assembly songs here. Let's go. So you should be a state. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> Um, in the only times that we ever did it was like in, if there was like an official ceremony, but then they would do the American one and then they would do the Puerto Rican one. Um, so they would do both basically. Do the Puerto Rican one. I can't sing. Oh, you have to sing? Oh wait, it's a national anthem? There, yeah, Puerto Rico has its own anthem. Oh, I thought you were saying it has a pledge. No. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, I guess that's different, right? Your pledge is not the same thing as Yeah, we didn't sing, like, the Star Spangled Banner every morning, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, wait, so you guys had a separate pledge? Yeah, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's one for Texas. It's honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas... It used to be one state under God, and then it was one in indivisible liberty, justice for all. I would not. I didn't even realize. I, I did. Thought... From, middle, from elementary, middle, high school, we did both. In Texas, at least where I was from. I want to be like, that's so fucking weird. But I also but went to an elementary school where the second elementary school that I went to, but my point is, I get paid less than the mascot. They make, they ask them, and it's just episode, it's like, it's literally like five minutes. Even though, like, you could do a whole episode talking about how fucking bullshit this is. Yeah. They require them to have a job, a full time job, because yeah. they know that they can't have it as a job. They were talking to like alumni of the cheerleaders and they were like, well, people from my generation saw it as more like an honor. So wait, she's back on the fucking Netflix show. How? 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 Dude. Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, 
Back on, she never really left the school stuff was a tangent. If it should have just left there. It should have just gone off on let's go off on something else, please. I, I have to just like, what do you mean? What do you mean by typecasting? And she was like, just appearance wise. And but they didn't push her further on that. And I'm like, if you're typecasting for a cheer squad that is already ninety percent practically blonde, white. blonde, white, Caucasian women. What you're saying is that we should trend towards picking people that already look uniform with them. So it's overwhelmingly going to be more white people. Like even, mm. I guess, discrimination against brunettes. <laughs> but they actually like, there's a lot of brunettes on the team. But you're going to be trending towards white people. Yeah, and it's the past that's already there. That's why you're bracing it off if you're typecasting. So by like typecasting, it's like, so you're just saying you're just you're, gonna, racist? you're mostly just going to try to go with white people. Okay. <laughs> But is that bullshit? I mean, they and they never said. They never said. I don't even think they said it was why they return. Instead of to this crew where they're like bosses. crying their eyes out about how how unsafe they felt because somebody they had no control over that. So have you ever thought that a psychologist might tell them that they deserve better and that would be bad for the brand? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that sister is more important. Actually, it all just is the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> and a paycheck. I was like, no, because then they would have a psychologist. Yeah, no, that'd be so fucked if they like purposely got like a psychologist that was like in their pocket to be like just reinforcing the idea that's like, no, you really should do this. It's good for you. It's good for your sisterhood. You know? Did you ever want to be? Did your school have like a drill team or like a dance team? Please find a fucking actual topic please i'm begging please why can they not just get onto a real fucking topic oh my god dude <laughs> no we never had any of that stuff not even like cheerleading no we, pr doesn't really have i mean there's like private there's no football. soccer like football games there's soccer games but like there never was like a cheerleading squad for it or anything Hmm. It was, um, what is it? I'm trying to think about what the biggest sport was. And I don't really know. Everybody was, um... Cricket. <laughs> okay, I'm not that preppy, okay? I'm not like... My Pickle school ball. didn't have cricket tournaments. Um, I think the biggest swings were just soccer, basketball, and volleyball. That's what I say baseball. Did. Baseball is really big in Puerto Rico. Like, the school is not necessarily, but the... What is it? Just recreationally. Yeah, basically. I mean... There was a year where we almost beat the United States. Um, like, it was like a global competition for baseball. Um, and we almost beat them. We beat them in one game, but then we had to play them again. We lost the second game. But think about it. That's Puerto Ricans, right, yeah. in the island against, like, the entire United States in the sense of, like, being able to get. Yeah, that's, like, the best of the best. Yeah. Um, I think Japan actually won that tournament. But we got, so U.S. got second place and we got third place. Hmm. Um, and one of the players dyed their hair blonde to like like we're going I for hate, gold uh, i hate when they do that dude that started like a trend like oh, i've got a skip i've got a skip somehow talk about me randomly like a stranger being like <laughs> not only is pixie not seeing the show she seems to have a very vague understanding of what cheerleaders are dude <laughs> what are you on <laughs> can i get some of that or like is damn being happy? girl no, it has to be just from being happy. <laughs> that's, it. That's, it. That's, that's kind of No, I'm sad. serious. I know that is sad. It's like you have to be high to be to understand why I'm smiley. <laughs> Dang. No, since we're not on YouTube, I was going to say, like, okay, we've been streaming for a little bit over an hour, so we should do, like, the top of the hour. Like, you should check out this, this, and that. But we can't even tell people to... I mean, you should subscribe to our... True. Guys, you should like, subscribe... Donate, buy a membership, gift a membership, buy a super chat if you can. Go to discord.gg slash queenman, twitter.com slash queenman, reddit.com slash r slash queenman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps support this pain, this torture I'm going through, trying to follow the conversation here as they prattle about what people from their high school are doing now and how they felt about the cheer squad and the Pledge of Allegiance that they didn't say during middle school. Thank you, thank you. Our YouTube, our YouTube is at Sugar and Spice Pod. Um, and our links are in our Twitch bio, which is not the most ideal place, but we're going to get chat ch chat commands. Try saying that three times fast. Chat commands, chat commands, chat Okay, commands. fuck you, whatever. <laughs> we're going to get chat commands for it soon, where you guys can subscribe more easily. And we were getting subscribers before the stream had even started. Yeah, which is um, nice. And we're also going to be looking for an editor. So if you guys know any editors, feel free to hit uh -huh. us up.
um i'll be checking my dms editing. more i usually don't do that but i'll do it just for just for a good editor yeah and join our discord because we're gonna be active she's more there. excited about this i one. am I'm i spend my whole day community. on discord professionally at now so i don't want yeah, just buy a bug looking for a job <laughs> Oh man, imagine Bug trying to sit through three hours of this to edit it, man. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be cute. I want everybody to send their little Discord selfie, and I want to be like, hi. I want women in our community. We'll allow men. <laughs> we'll only discriminate a little bit. But I don't want it to just be a sausage fest. I want there to be more women. So uh, I want it to be, what is it? I, everybody. It's going to be so cute. She knows how to market it better. I can't help but display my flagrant contempt for... I'm like, you're not reading the misandrist accusations, okay? No, because that makes my life difficult, and I don't like my life to be difficult, because if you are a female content creator, and you have a male audience, and you're not selling sex to that male audience, guess what? You have nothing to sell to them, so nobody will, will work with you. And I want there to be sponsorships. So. What is it? What? I mean Is that even true? I don't feel like that's quite true. I kind of, I get what she's getting at. But that's that's not true. <laughs> you could be entertaining. I mean, there's YouTube streamers that are or streamers that are women that aren't like super booby. Yeah, but no, exactly. They're yeah. not. They're not. Yeah. That's not what they're selling. But I don't even know enough. A big enough contingent of their audience must be either kids because you can sell a bunch of shit to kids. That's no problem. Or <laughs> women. Or there's guys out there. I like to think that there's guys out there that are just like these girls. are. Do you funny. think men are more likely to buy from female content creators? Not anything except an OF. I think I don't know. I think no, I don't think so. I don't think it's a question about more likely to buy or not. I think, um, what is it? Honestly, I think guys are more willing to support, um, what, it, like, online streamers in general because it's more just a larger male audience base to begin with. Yeah, but they get something out of that. I'm not sitting now. I'm not trying to move the goalpost to yeah, it. She shouldn't be thinking about sponsorships. She should be thinking about super chats right now, okay? Uh, sponsorships are a long way off. It can't be something that they actually benefit from. And what's spoiled. But I mean, other than consuming the content. Other than consuming that immediate content, like a product or service outside of that. I don't, well, I mean, can't you say the same thing for, like, women who subscribe? But I don't know that women really do subscribe. I don't even think that, I'm not even convinced that there's a huge amount of female Twitch viewers that really, Yeah. you know. <laughs> so you want to create know. it? You well, to... because there's a lot of female Twitch creators, but they're not. I don't think that they actually have a ton of women in their in their audience. No. I want gay people in our audience. That's gonna happen. <laughs> that's not but, gonna happen. No, I'm just... saying that's gonna happen. Um, so I I don't worry about. <laughs> I'm not even gonna know. There being there's lots of no shortage of like queer men online or like queer people, but I don't know. I about... want people to hype me up and be like slay queen, and I'll be like ah. Oh, Thanks, you slay. <laughs> so you want a hype squad? That's it. And I want a, I want a hype community. I want the community where we're all like, "You're chilling." No, you're chilling, and it's like cute. And have fun. you ever actually spent like a considerable amount of time in anybody else's community? No. Really? Yeah, I'm not very. The only community I sometimes go onto is just DGD, and I'm only on there when I'm in the mood to argue with someone. <laughs> It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Really deep? Is it that bad? Like when I was really Come bored like a year ago, sometimes I would just open up Steven's stream to be like, is he saying something I disagree with? I'm in the mood to argue. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> no, um, there's just not that many female content creators. Sometimes I like watch Ico. I never cut. I Ico streams at like weird hours. So because mm -hmm. I've watched Ico rules before, but like, and I feel like I, I always oh, miss Ico people. enjoy it. Like Kyla, I always miss Kyla's stream. Yeah, I just, uh, like, I don't know. Whenever I start watching streamers, I'm like... Always miss Kyla's stream. You don't want to see Kyla's stream. You don't want to see Kyla's stream. Where's that video? You don't want to know what's going on in Kyla's stream. I wouldn't have as much cool stuff if God didn't agree with me. Woof! Mmm! 
but I could be making the content instead. Yes, so why that's why I, I feel like I'm, I don't want to say I feel like I'm wasting time, but I definitely wait for post production. And mm. also, I'm a typical Zoomer and I listen to everything on 2x speed. The only way I could consume the amount of content that I do is by listening, no, not, yeah, is by not watching so any content, content live. Yeah. It's um. broken my brain. Like, <laughs> if I have the ability, I. I, it's like shameful to admit this, but if I if I'm on net, if I'm watching Netflix on my phone, I can't help but speed it up, even though that messes with the pacing. <laughs> but yeah, that's dude, this is fuck. It's so fucking over, bro. People are actually speeding up like TV shows and shit. No way. So I thought the Martin Scorsese shit was pretentious as fuck, being like, "Oh, don't watch this movie on your phone." But holy fuck, maybe it was right. Maybe other point. That's um, so bad. Well, if I'm rewatching stuff, I don't feel that bad. But like, honestly, one you, you should try it. A show on like 1.25 is kind of perfect. Girl, it's kind of perfect. A movie? No, I won't do it for movies. Okay, I think my feed is super fucked already. Like, I think I already get enough brain rot for my feed. I feel like if I start doing things in like 1.25 speed or two times speed, like it's gonna like. That's David Lynch, by the way. No, it was Martin Scorsese too. Martin Scorsese said it about uh, the Irishman. Because it was released on Netflix, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Brought my brain even more. Like, it's going to be like a nuclear waste to land in No, there. and TikTok has added this feature where you just hold your thumb on the right side of the screen and it speeds it up for you. Yeah, no, no, but that's, that's what I'm update. saying. I'm saying it's a problem that my brain has to see everything in, like, double speed. Um, it's not broken me to the point that I think people sound slow if I'm not listening to it. That's when I think it would really be an issue because I can still handle watching stuff. I just don't bother with it because... Why would I do that when I could speed it up? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Consume even more. Because it's like, I don't know. It's, Consume. It's, I mean, yes. I mean, yeah, think of I've it. had baby. <laughs> no, I want to be Consume. efficient. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> cool. No, because like, okay, when you were watching, did you ever use Khan Academy when you were in college? Uh, no. Well, I used Khan Academy and I wanted to like listen to it at twice the speed so I could listen to twice the amount of lessons. Or I don't, th I think the max on Khan was like, not 2x speed but maybe like 1.5 or 1.75 but i would i would speed it up because sometimes those people do be speaking slow when it was covid times and we had like the online lectures that were like recorded i would do two times speed but i feel you like had recorded a... online lectures yeah like... oh wait yeah i did too i don't know why i'm asking this yeah um so i would do that two times speed but i feel like that's different because i feel like it's that's not even for like instant gratification those i actually i tried to, i had animal nutrition online which the teacher said the course cannot be taken online, like, but she had to just deal with it. And she would upload lectures that she would record of herself, but I couldn't even speed it up because it's like a boomer doing tech for the first time ever. And literally because they're forced to, because yeah. like the school forced them to, if they, I bet if they had the choice, they would have like shut the class down, but I couldn't understand it because they were mumbling too much. Yeah. So. Um, I don't think I would have passed college if I didn't, if honestly COVID didn't hit COVID having like online classes was such a lifesaver to me. I loved COVID because it made, I had to take, uh, is it entomology or etymology? Which entomology one? is for insects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. I'm not a huge fan of bugs. I don't care. Like, really? Yeah, even as a vegan, like, I don't like bugs. I, I'll respect them. I'll leave them alone. Mm -hmm. But this forced us to be uh, offline. Or, like, online. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't want to go to the in-person bug lab. It was gross. Hmm. I was already half a semester in and I was like done. And the guy said like, we were only going to do more and more gross things like dissections and stuff. Ugh. I had, um, still had to do a bug collection, which was gross, but he cut it down from needing to do like, uh, what is it? Like a whole board. We were supposed to get like 50 unique bugs That's and my do friend pins. Did that. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. I literally was like, now looking back, I, I would have paid somebody off, but I literally was like, how do I find somebody that that is selling this for not an exorbitant amount of money because i could find people i'm going to dm them and apply for third mic right now <clears throat> people that were pinning butterflies and stuff but not bugs and like insects and have them all labeled and have it come man in time this and, is like, like fucking <laughs> crazy spread. this is actually please find yeah, a button okay i failed before but it's just one of those things it's just like and okay. i'm definitely a perfectionist i'm not used to failing i mean i had a good GPA. I don't like the type. It's just like we've covered. It. They've even talking at school are the whole time. Are you fucking kidding? Neither me? of these women are in school. I don't think I have been for several years, or at least a year. Yeah, all we've spoken about is fucking middle school, high school, and college. The whole podcast. And what your friends from high school are doing now. 
texting me. Like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Was not, for nothing. And it's crazy. The guy, I maybe I shouldn't talk to many details about it, but whatever. He was, um, his class was like about like sustainability and like a big part of it was like being good to your fellow human and being. So you said the issue was that you were failing this class? No, I didn't fail it. No, wait, what were you begging him for then? To get into the class. Oh, to get into it. I thought you were, no, you were no, begging no, to no, drop no, it because no, you did it. Your grades no, weren't good. No, 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 absolutely not. Um, I was like, how do you fail the class, the Earth Day again. class? <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying one of his classes was like sustainability and like a focus on that stuff. And yeah, they're really strict about that. They really do not want to have to teach or grade a single more student than like they have to, which mm-hmm. is annoying because they should factor in, and I, I know that they do, but like just i think they underestimate sometimes just how many people will drop a course oh, wait no 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 but here here's the most fucked up part so and he doesn't know what women are like look i just i'm sorry guys i i'm i'm a fake misogynist i always expect better okay i'm fake <clears throat> i always expect better i'm always like no it's not all women it's not all women and it's certainly not all women all the time either that would be insane if it was all women all the time they, they're always like that. That would be insane. So I always go into it and I'm like, it's fine. That, that, I've got faith. I've got faith. Erin is like reasonably, you know, she, she's been in entertaining content. Surely she can manage this. Even if Pixie, I mean, Pixie said the F slur in the N word on stream. That's epic. There's always a chance. So I go into it, I'm hoping for the best. But then I get to it and I realize, wait, maybe it is all women all the time. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe there are no good ones. Maybe it is all women all the time. Maybe that is just how they are. That guy was the head of the department, but he wasn't teaching the class I had to get into. The class I had to get into, the professor already said that I could get in. Um, oh weird yeah like and we were like in an email exchange he was like yeah you can totally get in you just need to, what is it like final approval from whatever but i'm totally cool with it and then he was like no you can't it's full and it's like the guy who's like teaching the class that's about to be like good for your fellow human blah blah, blah is like, so being, like wolf is one of the good ones about this and telling you like not even like oh i'm so sorry like you gotta wait till next semester no, blah 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 go, he literally was just like give up um <sighs> So I contacted this other professor, teacher, department, blah, 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 and then made it into a summer course instead. So I just had to stay two more months longer to get my credit. Uh-huh. Yes. I am cool. rabid. I am a little freak. It was a summer course or what? Yeah, it was a summer course. I hated summer it wasn't courses. Sum- it, it was a summer course I had to take, basically, but it counted as an independent study because they didn't have that course actually during the summer. So I did an independent study that gave the credit. Look at you finding ways to get your get way no matter what. All the time. <laughs> I find a fucking way. If I want something, I will find a way to get it. No, I've always been. I, we were talking about this the other night. I've always been. I've never been a way to like. I've never been the kid to like get away with stuff. Mm. Never. No one lets anything get past them. Any oh. adult that was ever responsible or in charge of me. I don't know what it is. Like. Uh, did I tell you about the the school thing or like the OCHEM two thing? No, I was in OCHEM two lecture. Okay. And the way my day was structured Man, since I was dual, I would spend the morning at my high school doing my bullshit classes that I would not even pay attention to because it like they were so easy. They didn't even require. I didn't need to really pay attention during the high school lecture to do the homework that was necessary for them or pass the, the quizzes because like half of it was electives. It was just like orchestra and something else. Yeah. And then the only one, the only, my senior year, the only thing I really had was like AP English, but that was super easy because it was just reading. Yeah. It was mostly like reading and like, do you have media literacy? Yes or no. So simple, right? But I started to like, I, we actually got truancy letters because I stopped. I didn't need to attend the class. Attendance isn't a grade. Yeah. And I didn't need to attend the classes to do well in the classes, but you still have to attend the classes. So I started to, in order to be able, Dude, I, <laughs> and it was the one time I ever did something stupid in the lab. Mm-hmm. Ming's only gone for five minutes, okay? Uh, we were wearing gloves and we had these, it was like, I don't know what it was. Like it was some sort of, it was like a glass pipette. Mm-hmm. And I was like pushing it into my glove to see if I would pop the glove, but the glove was so strong that it popped at the glass pipette and it cut me. How old are these women? Is there nothing interesting in their lives other than high school? I think they're like mid to late 20s. And I didn't notice that I was bleeding because it wasn't that painful until I realized, oh shit, there's like glass in my hand. 
and a little drop of blood fell onto the chair. And I, I was just trying to like, how do I get a new pair of gloves? How do I like throw this away? How do I get a new pipette without him noticing? Yeah. And he did come over and he noticed uh, like it had like dripped onto. I didn't notice it had dripped onto the chair. I only noticed that it had dripped onto the table. So I like wiped it away. And I told my my like lab mates like I was doing some stupid shit. Don't say anything or like don't do anything because I don't want him to have to like. They should just cover Destiny drama. True. They should. They should just cover JSOC streams. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want him to like send me to the fucking like school. I'd be way more I don't even know what the protocol would have been. But he like came by and like noticed. He like noticed. He was like, "Whose blood is this?" or something like that. I don't. I don't know how the fuck he noticed. But he like moved the chair away and he was kind of like side eyeing all of us. But he couldn't. He didn't know who it was and they didn't say anything. So <laughs> you're safe. I also didn't want to pay because I probably would have had to pay for breaking that. I bet. Knowing how much he hated me, he would have made me pay for whatever it was to replace that and gotten ma and probably like I also oh I could have failed. I didn't want to like get in trouble for like minus 20 for like not following safety protocol or whatever for the lab because they grade you individually on the lab oh that's not fun that's not cute. so i was like no i'll take the injury silently <laughs> and just not i just like went to the bathroom like cleaned it off just be in pain for a while why not why not no biggie hmm. how are things going i'm checking chat please find a fucking topic please find a fucking topic when are you guys girls gonna go on SOS cast again? You no. <laughs> Straighter Aid is never gonna go back on. No, that's not true. I'll go back on, but uh, I don't appreciate that they titled the one they ambushed me for that fucking debate that I was on with Rudy Rochman. It was like the protocol for that was not like anything else that they had ever done when every time I've ever been on like Valuetainment or Saucecast or whatever. But this particular episode. Uh, they didn't they weren't honest with me what they said the topic was going to be which they said broadly it was going to be about the protests across the nation um and then what ended up happening was when i get there um i already knew things were off because they didn't take me to the regular green room that they did they were like they had um amy australian amy come and take me to like a different room and she was like well they don't want you interacting with the guests i had already interacted with him a little bit and i reckon is this why lichen got sent to produce after being fired from anything else do you think is that why is that why the topic there's no topics? Is that why it's so aimless? <laughs> Dude, they need to they need to find like either they need to put time into preparing for these or they need to get someone to do it. They do talk to Lycan on the producer board at some point. Dude, Lycan clearly, clearly has no idea. No idea. <laughs> uh, Lycan got fired for anything else. He was the producer. And they dropped him. Recognized him? And so I was like, oh, but like... What is the big deal if one person of the panel is going to be interacting with him? But I guess they yeah, don't messing want to... on my pixie's just on her phone. Dude, someone needs to wrangle these people. Lycan Lycan needs to get it together. Take any chances. So that <laughs> I, I I have to assume that that was the logic that was behind that. Um and then they like they're like okay let's do like sound check it's like 10 minutes before and i go out there and there's three chairs clearly one for adam one for me one for rudy and there's a huge graphic behind them with the palestinian flag and the israel flag and it says debate in the middle and i immediately told amy like what the fuck is this like i never and she was like what do you mean and i was like i was surprised that i thought she was in the group chat with me and she was like no no no, they told they told you or something like that and she like pulled up her phone and she was in a separate group chat and they talked about it in their oh group God. chat and i saw unflattering messages from adam about me and they were basically i will not even say that but like they she she knew what was going to go down on that podcast but she genuinely didn't remember that they wait which which podcast are they talking about here which adam is this Oh, Saucecast. Oh. had told me separately that yeah. it was going to be something else. So I felt like Adam I was caught. Quite like, I was like, I'm this. not prepared for this. Like, I'm literally going up against, like, some professional Israeli activist. And not I'm Adam being 16, asked, no. like, to be a proxy or representative for, like, what this cause that I, like, didn't ask to be. I was, like, totally fine being on a panel and one voice of, like, many on it. But it was just annoying that I was, like, I'm, like, I didn't even attend these protests. Like, why are you 
if you know why are you a college student blah 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 yeah like i'm supposed to be and i'm not even a college you student need so, Israel. They're, so they're trying to like get me to stand in on that and then the thing that pissed me off the most was that the debate ends up being titled israel versus hamas like you are hamas yeah like the whole time even though i was like i don't care about hamas fuck hamas like not you my thing. favorite terrorist there and i hope you know <sighs> that so fucking irritating after that really soured me on the show i'd probably go on again but i told them and like i told the producer like i like you guys but I, next time i want to know like the topic in advance and like i if it's deviated from i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have to actually go through with my appearance because it's annoying that you guys told me that and adam literally told me he was like you're a prof- he's a professional you're not he's the expert you're not you have more to learn from him than you have to offer so i'm not kidding this is verbatim what adam told me so i want you to um you know kind of argue with him but he was like but like don't debate too much with him because you're going to be out of out of your depth like you're not really going to know <laughs> Oh my god. So he's like, really, like, I want you. He's like, it's going to be more. He's like, it's not going to be a debate. I was like, Adam, it says debate right there. And he was like, we can change the graphic, but he didn't actually see to it that it was changed because he doesn't want the format to change. <laughs> and then he was saying, but I want you to ask questions that I wouldn't think because I have my biases. He didn't say which side for, but uh, it's obvious which side it was for. And uh, you can ask <laughs> questions to Rudy that you wouldn't think to ask, but like, I don't have questions for Rudy. You didn't even tell me that this, uh, maybe I'd have questions if you had told me that this was going to be the format, but you didn't fucking tell me this was going to be the format, so I never would have agreed to this in the first place. I spoke less than 10, like 12 minutes on that whole thing. It was a waste of an, it was a waste of an afternoon, waste of time. And that's basically <laughs> what you can expect when you go on a Saucecast roundtable or like, you're not going to speak much and you shouldn't because people shouldn't be, you know, dominating the conversation if it's going to be a round table and there's lots of people who have something to say. Um, sometimes that naturally ends up happening because the people that they get on are literally just like random people and like personal friends of theirs that they're like, come on the show, like people who I assume they want to date. Um, and they don't say much. And then, yeah, certain people end up speaking more than others and that's fine. But I thought it was going to be like a group conversation. I thought they were actually going to have some students there from awesome, the protest, but I, they said they couldn't find anybody. That's seriously awesome. Yeah, so cost he one. mentioned to me about maybe getting like a potential hire or whatever mm-hmm. um, to help them get more like progressive women on. So I'm just why did Aaron get put, kicked off of whatever podcast? I can't remember. Was she like mouthing off? Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thanks for. T- Oh, it was over the... Oh, it was when they were asking her a body count or some shit, right? Here's the difference. Had you just said... Wait, wait, wait. Audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have paying audience members, okay? <laughs> We're giving a show to them. Okay, we should leave it to them. Castle. Okay, well, they're already saying kick her off. But at this point, would you believe I mean, what we've you got said? we've got no, a bunch of we've got a problem, bunch of democracy respecters in here. Wait. If if you know, we want to respect democracy, Wait. I say we just kick her off, man. At Wait. this point, How can we would kick you her believe off? whatever she said? Cuz like Dude, now I'm thinking I think she's no, full of shit. Now I'm not trusting her. shit on everything. So how do we how do we how do we kick her off and not blame the patriarchy at the same time? I think we should just own the patriarchy and say it's based and I, I literally have autism and you're 10 times more retarded than I am. <laughs> like, I literally have diagnosed fucking autism. I was in the classroom with the speds and shit, going on the bus oh, and shit. Oh, and you're I'm literally saying words that are not allowed on YouTube. Oh, Listen, here's, here's what it ultimately could have come down to. You could, you could have just said, hey, listen, I'd rather not share that publicly. I don't want to answer that. But you wanted to make it into some game, like some semantic game and... I just don't understand, like, it's really bad faith. If you just yeah. said, look, hey, I don't want to share that, fine. But, like, when you kind of, the first time I asked, you're like, we'll get into it later. And then you refused. Brian, and I'll, we're t- back I'll here tell you now. what it is. Earlier in the conversation, she made a comment about how you enjoy clip farming. Aaron mm-hmm. this is, doesn't, not even doesn't, a hold on, moment. hold on, just listen go to my ahead, point. When you kick her off, Aaron, it is. hold on. <laughs> Which is why. Everybody, please. <laughs> Silence your mouths. She doesn't like you or your show. She came on the show to obstruct contru- constructive I conversation. Do like the show. No, you I'm don't. I'm having a good time. No, if you like the show, you would. I want to see Letty and Josie on the show. That would go so hard. Actually, be good faith. Yeah. She came on the show to throw a wrench in, in the in the gears and to obstruct constructive conversation. And she's acting like she's not doing it and like we're being crazy and stuff. You should just kick her off the show, man. Chat. 
They are, dude. You had I, a thousand people say, I "Kick saw her Castle, off right I saw now." Kick, you should kick her off right now, Brian. To, like, get me off. Otherwise, we're going to continue wasting Destiny, our time you sticking with around? all this bullshit. What? You I'm sticking here around? Until the end. Yeah, I He's a professional. This. I drove all the way to this fucking city, so I'm here for as long as you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. You drove, drove to this city? What? Right. I have a question for you. Look at LA. Look at look at your chat. Look at your chat. No, no. I have I have a question. Answer your question. Is there anything Aaron can do? To show good faith right now. Yeah, be quiet. Honestly, I think you had the opportunity. Yeah, just don't you had the opportunity. <laughs> so kindly, I'm asking you to leave. Yes, yeah. Sparta. Your question is the sound effect. There's no. You gotta go. Oh, hold on. Steven, would you Aaron, let her you in your polycule? Aaron, you should go. I'm not answering your question. Yeah, 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 you should just leave. Wait, wait, Please leave. Thank Can you. you leave? I don't know if your friend wants to come with you, but I will you leave can. you guys to ask the very important questions about Stephen and Melina's relationship and diving more. Thank you. That's that. lovely. Thank you, you so leave. much. Uh huh. See you next this week. Sparta. Bye bye. We love you. Peace out. Quickly. You too. Quickly. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're such a troll. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, can we like scoot over now? Because we I hope more. so. Because I'm fucking. Yeah. Was this the one where Melina was saying like, uh, I actually like cut queening. I, I like uh, I like the fact he cheats on me. Was that that podcast as well? <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, no. Why would anybody come on the show if that's going to be the setup? Are like, are they really surprised that like people don't want to come on the show if that's going to be like what you can expect? like bombardment yeah yeah i guess you, you know. don't expect it but yeah that's not a or like why they can't get repeat guests maybe they don't want repeat guests i don't know that was weird that was not a fun experience mm. i don't like i don't think that the conversation went poorly because there was not really a conversation in the first place like he i barely he would set it up like he would ask he would ask a question he'd be sure to get me to answer first then he'd let rudy answer and he'd give him way more time he could like when you're sitting there he's like clearly like hurry up answer quickly answer concisely you just feel rushed the whole time and then he would like turn to rudy rudy would get all this talking time and then he wouldn't even give me a chance to respond to what rudy said so rudy would get a chance to not only address what i said but answer the question and then he would be like okay next topic next question so it was basically like an interview i was like it was pointless that i was there who was your what is it from sos cast um whatever podcast and fresh and fit which one do you like the most to go on Mm. honestly probably whatever but i don't like the length of whatever five fucking hours the last one that even I was though she on was seven seven hours and 13 minutes no That's food no water and like too. i didn't even like get up to like use the restroom because i don't even like to do that during yeah. the during the show so i don't like that part the minimum that show is minimum supposed to be five hours which i can even do but i don't like that they um they're they're pissy about guests not wanting to be on that time, but it's like, can, can you really like be that upset that people don't want to do a fucking show for five hours or whatever? It's like, I have the stamina for it, sure. But I think it's a lot to ask of guests that are just there for free or whatever um, to do it for five hours straight, especially since so many of them, you can tell that they've literally never been on a podcast before. They're just recruiting them off of like, what? How does he recruit? Instagram? Instagram just yeah. Hot, those hotty tamales. <laughs> hot women that are like just promoting their, their OF or whatever, like their links. Yeah. But yeah, it's like the best one that's like not saying much because I dislike all of them, but for different reasons. Yeah. I wish, um, what is it? Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. <coughs> I need to finish shutting up my fan, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made an account, but I haven't uploaded anything on there yet. It just exists. What are you going to do on there? Cosplay. Page. Cosplay is expensive. It can be expensive. Are you gonna do it? Take pictures and then return it. What do you mean? Oh, the cosplay. Yeah. I ain't no, saying shit. I, wanna, I actually want to have them. Like, I want to be able to like. Does it stress you out to have like that many clothes? Girl, my closet <laughs> is alright. I I have reached <laughs> pa way past the Your point Shans, of return. Most valued customer. Don't say that. That's just so bad. That's just <laughs> not okay. I'm an environment hater. Chat apparently. I just hate life. I mean, she wouldn't even look at when I was showing her how just how bad it can be. Like the landfills filled with all uh, of this crap. Here's the thing. <laughs> I have Shein clothes. I even like Shein clothes, but a lot of it is like swimsuit material, like crap. Have you noticed that? It's very hit or miss whether or not the quality from fast fashion is going to be Sit. acceptable Sit. enough Yo, to wear. Fuck. It's usually Sit. not that good at all. There's a point in like your shopping addiction that you reach where you can tell how good the quality of clothing is going to be by looking at the picture. I have reached that point. <laughs> have you seen You're me? an expert. <laughs> have you ever seen me wear a dress or anything? I, can't, I don't know how much longer I can do this. So I, I actually don't know if I can do this any longer, dude.
It's annoying because I just I said I was gonna farm it out, but it's just so fucking bad. It's so difficult to watch. I can't follow what they're talking about for more like five seconds at a time. Um Yes. Wh which one? The white one with the blue. The blue flowers. Mm -hmm. It's it doesn't look like a swimsuit, it has like that material. It's but that's more it's like this material. No, it's not. This one's like a mesh. Yeah, it was a mesh too. No, it wasn't a mesh. I I'll just keep the torture going. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'll say this, okay? I will accept encouragement to keep going. All right. Are you, are you sure you're not? Gonna I know what I'm talking about. Okay, She's I'm delusional. gonna wear that one next time. Here, I'm gonna bring and it. And I'm gonna wear sweats. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know she was gonna come all dolled up or whatever. I mean, I'm at my place, so I could easily like change, but I don't. Well, After having us for days for not saving this. Well, we needed to see it. We needed to see at least some of it. <laughs> but it's fucking unbearable. You're in spice vibes, okay? Most of what is in my closet is like dark to black, and most of what's in hers is like light, white, pink, pretty colors. Oh, also, because it's like the first episode. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars, that's it. I see. So, so I was like, I'm gonna dress nice for the first episode. I can't keep this up every episode. I'd get too tired. So, which podcast are you gonna do go to next for your debate? Considering that Saucecast was not very welcoming to you the last time. Also, <laughs> they said, thank you for the extensive response to my question. Because there was a, like, because uh, Stephen reviewed that debate and he was like, she's not talking at all. Like, why not? It was, I told him later, it was because the setup for that is like, they did not want it to actually be a conversation, even from the start, from me getting there, if they're trying to prevent me from interacting with Rudy, which is like, how scared are you? You know, I'm not Palestine's strongest soldier. Like, I'm just literally somebody who does this for hobbyist sport. Like, it would be one thing if I was like branding myself as some professional Palestinian activist or something like that. And I like had my own like talking points and stuff like that, but I'm not. I'm just like a hobbyist. So, him, he had really nothing to fear. You know, I'm not like trying to understate or anything like that. I'm just trying to be realistic about where my like knowledge levels after that conflict and it's not something that i like i don't have like if rudy does it professionally for the last several years that's what he's talking about he should have been able to like wipe the floor with me if they wanted to have a debate impromptu or whatever but adam was like so nervous that like rudy was not gonna come out looking good i guess but um yeah i might go back on whatever to debate andrew wilson in person but i don't i could take it or leave it because i could debate andrew, yeah, andrew wilson versus Aaron irl debate <laughs> andrew wilson anytime because he has a remote web show so yeah i mean i'm open to well i can't do the dates i should i'm gonna respond to brian tonight and be like i can't do that date because that day is my birthday <laughs> um just coming soon i'm excited um i forgot i was gonna ask chat i don't know like i think it'd be fun to have a little live stream on during my birthday and just like hi everyone for fun yeah why is this a topic for your podcast why are you bringing this up please talk about anything else please literally anything I'm just for chill. don't you think of live streaming as work it can be work <laughs> what's the god this isn't gonna sound depressing i was gonna say what's the worst you've ever felt after a live stream the worst i've ever it's actually like they're picking the worst possible fight actually this is maybe this maybe this is a good start maybe this is a good start Let's see. What's the worst Pixie has ever felt after a live stream? They've hit like every worst possible topic. Maybe this will be funny. It's work. It can be work. <laughs> what's the. God, this isn't going to sound depressing. I was going to say, what's the worst you've ever felt after a live stream? The worst I've ever felt after a live stream. Um, I don't think I've ever felt super duper bad after a live stream. I mean, it depends. Like, there's been times where I've debated Steven and afterwards I feel horrible because <laughs> this chat is so fucking mean to me and, like, wants me to kill myself, <laughs> unalive myself. Right. I don't know. Um, uh-huh. What is it? I remember when we had that debate, like, a long time ago about Amaranth or whatever. I still got, like, bombarded with so many hate messages afterwards i just felt so depressed i was like why do i even bother talking ever like people are just gonna tell me to die <laughs> like okay but yeah other than that i don't get too depressed do you find it exhausting live streaming sure um yeah i think like it's super tiring like 
Is it the hardest job you've ever had? It's basically harder than being a coal miner, right? Oh my god, not this debate again. No, wait, no, I'm making... I, I don't know, think I people know. realize that I'm making fun of the people that uh, refuse to eat. Like, I feel like so many people come to that conversation in bad faith. Just any any streamer who's trying to express, like, it yeah, is we're not really meant hard, to have guys. this many eyes. I'll tell you what, us. this is really fucking difficult. My job right now, really difficult. Unironically, this is the hardest I've ever had to work to try and make something entertaining. That's not true, actually. I've covered so much Stardust content and so much time. That's nowhere near true. That's a complete lie. It's not natural. It's like emotionally draining or whatever. Um, don't want to hear it. You know, and I don't even blame them because if, if like, obviously, if you're trying to compare streaming to an actual manual job, that's fucking you know, inappropriate yeah. or whatever. But it presents its own unique challenges that like nobody wants to provide the space for those people to talk about. Yeah, I need your yeah. help to well, keep what going, job chat. Like some time. <laughs> eight hours a day you know any job i mean but that's like working thing. at like eight hours at t target it's just not filmed yeah well, but i feel like you have to be like masking and like you know doing customer service voice and being super nice to people that you want to be who are being fucking rude to you yeah maybe the difference and maybe it's just the pressure i'm putting on myself because like it's not like there's or maybe i'm wrong but it's not like there's a customer 24 7 in target towards you specifically you know okay not that's 24 7 eight hours well i feel like when you live stream there's always usually somebody at least one person watching for eight hours you know and it's like hopefully it just how i like being i like having my moments of solitude <laughs> it's like i don't know that so I, streaming the career for you um me yeah yeah blah, blah, blah. um what's the most weird uh -huh. had? Um, good question Aaron. what we just move past that one dude <laughs> it's like i don't know that so I, streaming the career for you um me yeah yeah blah, blah, blah. um what's the most viewers you ever had um a thousand okay yeah did it feel any different than having like 50 100 people to have like 1000 people watching you um honestly no it gets more exciting when there's like a lot of people in chat because i really like talking to chat um but it never felt like worse i don't know it, it, to me it's the same whether it's like one or, like i still get i'm basically nervous all the time okay <laughs> you stop breathing you think that's me breathing into the mic you think that's me breathing into the mic polito's super chatted two dollars and 56 cents my nephews can go without snacks thank you for the two pounds polly thank you thank you thank you yo thanks smile for the 20 dollars for anonymous thank you very much jesus thank you guys I guess we've got <laughs> okay. Like going. I am always slightly nervous. Um, so so you were projecting when you said that I should get medical attention for social anxiety. No, it's different. <laughs> like I can give like an impromptu speech in the middle of whatever. Like that's not a problem to me or like socialize. Like because this isn't socializing or this is socializing, but in a very unique form. You know, it's yeah. not like just talking. It's like. Freddie Woods super chatted ten dollars. My therapist died. Link symbol collision. Link symbol raised hand. Thank you, Freddie Woods, for the ten dollars. So people are judging your performance or whatever, and it's, it's like there forever. I, yeah, it's there forever. Well, maybe not, but <laughs> the I was so about vast. to say like. I mean, the internet's not going to let you forget some stuff, but I mean, some people don't even remember to like save their own vods. I'm not even convinced that like. Okay, the, this is when it really stuck out to me. One time, and I've never seen actual clips of this, so I'm not even convinced that she did it. Because until I see it, I don't know. Apparently, Pokimane watched the Avatar The Last Airbender on her stream. Do you remember mm -hmm. this? No. And that they were, like, saying that that was the reason why Twitch was, cop like, actually getting strict about, like, DMCA. And even though she's one of the biggest streamers on the platform, like, nobody had a VOD of this. Nobody had a clip of this. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, if people are not even bothering to, to save the VODs from some of the biggest streamers in the world, I'm not even co entirely convinced that, like, it's a huge issue for people unless you're doing something abjectly No, I'm pretty sure Pokey did do that. They were all doing it, remember? Didn't Disguise Toast get in a bunch of shit for it? They were all, like, actually seeing it. They, there was a whole, like, few weeks where they were all basically just watching the most copyright-baiting shit possible on Twitch. Embarrassing. Yeah, no, I think, um... It used to be everything is on the internet is there forever and then it became like the internet is like so vast and so wide like that there's not even time for people to remember to, or whatever or i mean you'll have a few skits that are like constantly reminding you about particular moments in like your streaming career but for the most part it seems like people don't have the time or the bandwidth to actually be keeping up with it and like saving the shit or whatever 
People will literally hold um, conversations I had five years ago. Over see, your head? Yeah. Like, they'll, <laughs> they'll be like, well, what about the time you had this opinion? And it was like, uh, that was five years ago. Like, <laughs> oh, like am Lots I not allowed since to change? Then. No, everybody has to be exactly the same forever. There's no other, no other result. Hmm. Okay, let's do more topics. It's super scuffed. <laughs> let's see. We're learning. We are learning. Yeah. This is our first episode. We have to be kind to each other. Or kind to Look ourselves. how Okay, the topics list is so outdated that I had a link to a corporate for like a celebrity. So it's like mainstream topic. Corporations pull back on pride. There was a Vox article talking about how like the target pride section and like the pride sections of like notable huge clothing brands and corporations had been significantly diminished. And I was thinking like, uh, do you think that's a bad thing? That there's less people buying pride stuff? Well, that there's less corporate pride. Like, this year that they pulled back significantly on, like, featuring that. Where, like, last year they had, like, tuck bathing suits and stuff like that. Tuck-friendly bathing suits. <laughs> um, I don't know. It could go either two ways, right? It could either go in the direction of, like, oh, no, they're um adhering more towards, like, conservative appealing or whatever. Like, those people that are saying, like, we're not going to show up here unless if you, you know, take the queerness out, blah, blah, blah um it could be taken as like oh those oh wait sorry what's i gonna say in chat <clears throat> i doubt that she did but i never started to cover it which way because she's huge i mean yeah i don't i think it's only i think it's pretty close to saying. things might not sell well to begin with because mm -hmm. like you know especially younger people don't like feeling like their identities being used for like corporate propaganda like yeah the, like you know women who don't like the girl boss mugs because it's like yeah this kind of corny um and lame um the what uh -huh. i remember reading <laughs> a me. post a while ago or whatever Jesus. i was talking about like corporate pride and it really mm -hmm. stuck with me because even though i kind of generally saw it as like a semi bad thing like yeah like it... all right this is like kind of a topic now this is kind of a topic it shows like acceptance to a certain level but it's also like commodifying somebody's identity kind of strange blah 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 um, they were talking about how they lived in how like, um, lost? Let's an see. Eastern European country that was like maybe not third or second world or whatever developing, um, and oh, how why would because you America that is like so <sighs> big and like so influential or whatever, whatever, and so it's like a lot of these campaigns like basically like traverse the globe, maybe mm -hmm. not everywhere, but like in a lot of places, um, they would sometimes get like a rainbow Coca Cola or something there or something. So to them, it was like okay comforting in a way that it was like even acceptable. though yeah that it was like acceptable and it's like the only time that people wouldn't like really in their area complain because like what's the point you know like they're not going to be able to change coca-cola's like branding or whatever yeah um i guess it's like a good barometer to see generally where consumer base is at Wait, why am i being sent what is this why is uh why am i being sent this Soul, that animated Disney movie, is very close to the magical stereotype because he gets turned into a cat and helps Tina Fey's character. But I don't know if she's supposed to be white. Nah, because Django isn't magic. The yellow face in Cloud Atlas, BTFOs, any brown face in Lawrence of Arabia, and that's a recent what is any what is this? Okay how if they're obviously doing these like huge pride displays or whatever they think they're gonna make a bunch of money so i guess that in some way signals but like consumer trends can be so up and down that i don't think that people should hang their hat on like how big target how extensive targets like pride section is to jimbly really... super chatted five dollars my wife left raised hand link symbol collision link symbol raised hand thank you for the five dollars jimbly thank you measure whether or not countries like homophobic or not mm. because like you're saying they could be de definitely be pandering to like a vocal minority they could yeah. be pandering to the people that made us think about it last time even though those people are like probably target shoppers but like we're never going to buy anything from pride ever so like yeah. a pride collection ever so why are you pandering to them personally i want a rainbow look up cloud atlas they put white actors like hugo weaving and makeup to look asian the day is Oh, I see it. <laughs> Deeper home, you're fucking insane. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that looks so uncomfortable. Hey, look at this guy. Top left. Holy oh, fuck, man. <laughs> It looks like that. Do you remember, like years ago, there was what was it? It was like when the first, when the anti SJW shit was like super big on YouTube. There was that one guy that everyone used to make videos about that was uh trying to be like the third gender alien or whatever, the genderless alien. You remember what I'm talking about, uh, or am I the only one that remembers this? this i see my life progressing to a more otherworldly on every single thing ever um do you I like the new pride flag wait which one the There's one with like... the like the triangle and like the brown and the black Aww. no no <laughs> i actually don't think that flag is as bad as everybody says i feel like people are performative in how ugly they they think that flag yeah. is but i definitely i just like the plain rainbow one a lot more new pride flag at this point the only people that it doesn't have on it is like asian and white people because <laughs> yeah. they have black and brown so yeah i think they should have ended it with the trans with the blue. like not yeah not with the ace not the black and um brown stuff i feel like that just it's too much where's the me. joker <laughs> where's the joke have you seen the the one that has like the joker on it no but that sounds hilarious <laughs> I just don't think that flag is as big as an eye of an eyesore as people say. I feel like they're exaggerating it. Like I get not liking it or whatever, but the extent to which people say it's ugly. No, I is just like <laughs> what is going on here? I just think what is it? It's so weird. The whole point of the rainbow flag is that it's a rainbow and all the colors. I thought that I thought you're they're on the corporate pride stuff. I thought it was about like companies pandering, and now we're moving on to the the gay flag redesigns already. So it's being a rainbow, and then they're like, you know what? Let's gotta add more colors. add more colors to that. And it's like that takes away from the purpose of the rainbow. But whatever. I do think that just aesthetically, the other one looks neater. It looks better. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a version in the seventies that was kind of ugly too, because it was like a rainbow, but they used darker colors. But the one that was before the like inclusion of like the trans flag or whatever, I think if it were like. Honestly, I think I just don't like the brown and black stri stripe on it. Yeah, that's how I feel. If it were just like the trans thing or whatever, I think that would look pretty. Yeah, I completely agree with you. It's like the brown and black stripe is overkill, okay. <laughs> and I also kind of don't understand it because it's like to be intersectional. But intersect like sexuality is already like it, tr it goes across races. So why do you need to? Or it's the brown and black. I mean, so close there, but what does being trans have to do with sexuality? Why is trans on there? Like not about race. I don't know. I think I think I thought it was. Yeah, okay, predominantly that's what like I drawing too. attention to it or whatever. So um, I just don't like. I'm. I guess I'm just like genuinely like ignorant because like sexuality is supposed to transverse like race. You know, like anybody can be gay or you know bi or whatever. So why try to call it, like you can be gay even if you're black? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like is somebody saying that? Like is that? I guess. Maybe within those communities or something? I don't know. No, I don't know what the... I mean, I understand what the messaging is before. I think they're just trying to raise awareness to the fact that, like, black and brown queer people probably disproportionately have, like, hate crimes against them or, like, underrepresentation or whatever. But I guess there's something weird about, like, permanently including any race in a, in a thing that's dedicated to, like, pride about sexuality specifically. Yeah. You know? Well, it's not about sexuality, is it? It's, it's already not. Pride's already a, a meaningless thing that has totally morphed out of what it was originally meant to be because being trans and being gay are two grossly different things right being trans has nothing to do with sexuality G gender identity is like a whole different thing yeah i don't know i feel like if um what is it it already just <laughs> I... pr pride is already just about oh here's all the people that know what the the, the rest of the people don't like that's that's basically all, all it means anyway Well, yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is that there's, a, there's like, frankly, the argument, but, like, fucking, I mean, well, I wait, okay, I won't say that. 
There's some, but listen, the argument for scat stuff being at Pride is better than the argument for trans stuff being at Pride. It makes more sense, and you can extend that. Hour. I mean, you can't really like be like change of races or whatever because that doesn't work because like the power dynamics are just straight up different. Um, but I'm just trying to think like if they had like a color that signified like Puerto Ricans and they were like Puerto Ricans, that's brown. BK, yeah, I guess they're brown, like, Hispanic. But I just I, whatever. They feel represented. <laughs> I, I mean, feel I like don't look at that strive and thing I'm represented on it. Yeah, I feel like it's just strange. It's like, great. I know Hispanic. I'm I'm Pan. Congrats. <laughs> I didn't need a stripe to be like. Do we, need to, do we need to watch Queer Theory Jeopardy again? Is that what we need to do? Do we need to go back to the. Uh... Derek Jensen. There is a long correlation between anarchism and pedophilia and support for pedophilia. <laughs> the... oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a beautiful line. Thank you so much for asking. How about something relevant? I've been talking about rape culture all day and pedophilia and the support of pedophilia is not rape culture. Actually, actually, it seems you're acting like this is a spurious connection. So we're going to play Jeopardy. This is, we're going to play Queer Theory, we're going to play Queer Theory Pedophilia Jeopardy. Okay, answer. Uh, commonly called the godfather of queer theory. Foucault. Who is Foucault? Who is Foucault? Let's go. Okay. 100 points. Um, Foucault. Uh, another way to ask this is who argued, no, I guess the answer would be, argued for the eradication of age of consent laws as in down to infants. Who is Foucault? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next one. Um, oh, uh, the author of the, the, author of the uh, founding document of queer theory. Who is Gail Rubin? Who is Gail Rubin? Um, what percentage? No, no, the answer is 50%. Question is so, uh, and the point of this, I feel like it has to be said because I feel a lot of people probably misuse this shit. It's not to say all gay people are pedophiles or anything like that. It, it, it is literally just the queer theory stuff, the the academic like philosophizing about about the idea of being queer and queer identities. The whole history of it is just it's all some of the sickest. Shit. I mean, like, it's the same like trans shit, right? There's the whole John Money thing. Like, all of these academics, while they're talking about gay people and trans people, they were also talking about fucking pedophiles, people who fuck dogs, and shit like that. Yes. The amount in that article that was a defense of pedophilia, specifically, quote, boy lovers, so men who fuck boys. Oh. Wow. And since you're not believing me, quote, quote, this is in the founding document of queer theory. Like communists and homosexuals in the 1950s, boy lovers are so stigmatized that it is difficult to find defenders of their civil liberties, let alone for their erotic orientation. That's in the founding document of queer theory. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm using facts. <laughs> that would be cringe if he wasn't just like a based old professor, you know. A thousand, a thousand apologies. One must never let facts in the way. Oh, and she also compared, by the way, she compared pedophilia. Derek Jensen. She compared just pedophilia cool. just got that to swag. Uh, a preference for spicy food. Um, the thing is, I have never heard of anyone who has to have years of therapy because they ate hot and sour soup. Okay, so up to 200. Now it is, uh, now it is, now it is pedophilia and queer theory for 300. Uh, that would be author of uh, Macho Sluts. My author of Much of Sludge and Public Sex. Pat Califia. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was it somebody said? Stay relevant. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Let's talk about. Is it, when's the uh, next one? He's been stunted for so long. It's <laughs> such a long break. Oh. Okay, here's something from one of uh, Pat Philippia's books. You know, it's really interesting. It's really interesting that when I actually start talking about 
the relationship between queer theory and anarchism and pedophilia that uh, it becomes, they, they really want to shut me up now. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's Pat Califia. Pat Califia. Oh, wait, 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 just a second. Just a second. I was accused of homophobia because I'm against pedophilia. Yes. Who is it who actually makes the connections between that? Okay, here's something by Pat Califia. Okay, he's just not getting a chance to speak. I don't remember how long this clip goes on for. Let's just go back. Either way. I mean, I'm, I was even surprised to start seeing the yellow with the purple ring as the ace flag, right? Yeah, I know the purples for sure. The one ace. that you just showed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's specifically ace, but I, th I, I thought that was asexual or yeah, whatever. Probably. Ben Shapiro would go harder with reading glasses. All, all 10 people that use it. <laughs> I mean, like... There's more bi people than there are even ace people, and I really don't see the bisexual flag being flown anywhere, even though it has the prettiest colors. Valid. So so true, queen. Do you like the trans flag? I like the kind. Yeah, I like the blue. Pastels. Yeah. That'd be me. <laughs> I think, um... Hmm, what's my least favorite out of all of them? <laughs> it took a minute for the trans flag to grow on me. That's just not... <laughs> not like, you. <laughs> well, because it reminds me of, like, baby colors. They are I never. I'm not used to seeing a pastel flag, and I think now it's the thing oh, I like God. about it the most. But I think when I would first see it, like when I first saw it, I thought I saw it as kind of this like visual baby talk for the sexuality because I think it's uh, no. it's like or like it for gender identity. Now that you're saying it, I'm like, it's kind of fucked up that the trans flag colors that they're using are the ones that are like traditionally male or female like <laughs> like reinforcing. i know it's very unwoke of them yeah it's reinforcing the gender ideology instead but, of trying to break well, it well no there's also white and white contains all colors so <laughs> no i don't know i'm sure that the person behind you know bosch actually interviewed the the person who created the trans flag and here I am. Bl I'm only remembering that detail. I'm not remembering when they actually said, like, why they incorporated those colors into it. I'm sure there's some significant, deep, meaningful thing that we're, like, totally shitting on right now. I'm just saying it's, like, my layman of first experience to it. I was surprised that it's a... F it's a... F it's baby colors. I don't know. Pastels. I'll always associate pastels with, like, baby rooms, you know? I'm baby. Oh, imagine why. So that's why you like it. <laughs> okay, okay, no, I, just... no, no, I think... I don't know if I can do this. This is just like, it's a flag this course from like two years ago. I need to see them like as humans, right? They were... But shouldn't contact property. theory overcome that if you interact with them long enough that you would see, oh, they are a human. I was just... Well, it was a bias. I was manifesting. The argument would be like, if you're in contact with them, with them long enough in the context of like viewing them as a human or whatever. So like, for example, like if... um let's say you're discriminating against a gay kid at first but then you guys had like a school project together or something and like you're forced it's something to... i would do yeah <laughs> you're like you're forced to like actually like have a real conversation with them and like interact with them and like you're kind of forced to see their humanity then it's gonna be a lot harder for you to like bully them again in the future versus if you have like a giant power dynamic where you're always the one like on top and you don't really have a reason to be on their level or talk to them on their level or whatever sure. you're it's just going to keep the power dynamics it's just going to continue being that i feel like some bullies would argue that if you actually the reason why they didn't they bullied some people is because they got to know them and they didn't like them no. knowing trans people iro actually may be the way i am i totally agree with this steve the more trans people i've met irl not like and this so it's not no one can use the oh trans people are just crazy online it's just it's just the ones online that are insufferable no no the more trans people i've met the worse my opinion has become i was very trans positive like four or five years ago i was all on board i was fully on board i have met i think a total of about Six or seven trans people. Four of which were FTMs. And if you count non-binaries, the number's a lot higher. And every FTM I have met... Actually, that's not true. One was not like this, but they were... I mean, they were an FTM. I, mean, I was like 18 when I met them. They were like, I think 18 as well. I don't think I'd been transitioning for very long, so... But but all the rest of them did this horrible overperformance of masculinity. 
that was like insane. Like walking around a pub in a football shirt, going, oi, 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 holding, holding a beer and just like performing and then doing this whole, I've told this story before where they sat there and like it was two FTMs and one of them had a girlfriend and they'd, I think, cheated on this girlfriend at some point. And then the girlfriend became sort of like anxious and, and pushy about when this FTM boyfriend had to come home. And I literally sat there with my ex at the time, uh, listening. I, I ended up leaving because it was so fucking gross and sickening. Listening to these two FTMs sitting there and planning and like co-writing the one FTM's messages to their girlfriend, trying to like basically manipulate and push them into being okay with this guy staying out even though they'd agreed on that not happening because of the previous cheat cheating. I just sat there as I watched like the most disgusting, just like blatant, uh, for, uh, like it, just, just wretched behavior, just horrible behavior. And it was crazy. And then they're walking around doing like a minstrel show of what a man is as well. It was sickening. It was sickening. The w absolutely worst interactions of my life. Are they breathing into the mic? Uh, Aaron is breathing into the mic, I believe. Yeah. I mean, cis men do that. I've never been around men doing that. And I've never, I've certainly never participated in something like that. I've never seen men actively and openly stoop to that level. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. But I've never been around it. And I certainly don't fucking stick around for it. And people like that just, well, it felt like they were doing it essentially as a, a further performance of the, of the masculinity, if you know what I mean. Like they felt like they had to do that because they're, because they're an MTF or FTM rather. <laughs> I think in most cases that's like, I don't think that's true though. I think that's just cope. I think most bullies like do it for uh what is I mean don't get me wrong it's always like oh yeah like there's a weird kid that gets bullied but I think um most bullies do it out of like straight up like power high that they can get away with it and like you know I think part of it's peer pressure mm. like they're peer pressured to bully or that well because in some ways like if you're around queer people or whatever like you know boys that at that age like are secure in their like you know quote-unquote deviant sexuality or whatever that threatens yours in some way mm -hmm. right and then you're incentivized to like posture over that yeah and signal like this is not an acceptable way to be like masculine or whatever yeah i could see that um which is weird because i don't feel like this i don't feel like homophobia is really as prevalent uh, like i feel like women are more likely to be transphobic mm -hmm. and i feel like men are more likely to be homophobic I don't know. I think um, because I, there are. I met cis women that are like threatened by the inclusion of like trans women or whatever because they don't see uh, them as base women. Tuffs. They feel like it threatens base their tuffs. sense of like feminine identity. Hello? Yeah. And I feel like I see that same phenomenon with men, but towards gay men more often because they don't they don't like seeing how they're comfortable being. They're like completely accepting of themselves. Well, I think what is it? A lot of um, straight men are like super transphobic on cis on um trans women like they feel tricked they view i mean i'm gonna argue that's just an extension of like homophobia but it's like oh you know like they view it as they got tricked by the secret man or yeah whatever so i feel like come on like this is just like the lowest engagement with this topic like there are actual beliefs that go into this shit you can't actually talk about the beliefs and the positions of spouse it's just oh well they feel gay when they look at a trans woman so they hate them well, I mean, nothing's stopping. There, the same. There are men that are attracted to trans women who can't accept it, and then they're straight up just transphobic to them still. Yeah, you know, because they wouldn't date them. Yeah, they'll hook up with them, but they'll never admit to anybody that they'd be willing to actually be with them. It's so wild to me. <laughs> no, no, it's not wild to me at all. I mean, like most people are straight. Most people, I feel like, barely understand heterosexuality, and now you're asking them not literally asking them obviously but if no jimberly i'm not participating in, in transphobic bullying of pixie okay develop new social protocols as more and more people are being openly queer and people just don't know how to contend with that yeah i feel like men and women straight men and women have a difficult time interacting with one another sometimes in like integrating like men, the sexes you know yeah. like just two genders so the inclusion of all these things is like already like just that alone is so stressful and then you're having to like now contend with like oh no there's trans people there's gay people what am i supposed to do with this yeah 
What is it? Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. My little brain is like... Well, because you said it was fucked up that you think that there are... Well, like, that you know that there are straight men that are attracted to trans women, but not oh, really no. comfortable being open about it. I think it's... um, What is it? I tried logic. I, when I say it's fucked up, I just think, like, the mental gymnastics... I tried well, logic. Is, is I tried logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, I guess it doesn't... It's seemed like it surprised you but it reference me well it surprises me like that people are capable i mean it shouldn't surprise me because i've seen it a million times but that people are so capable of doing like 20 mental gymnastics you know being like this was sleeping with this woman or this woman is a secretly guy so that's like kind of gay and i'm not gay but like if i sleep with them like that's okay that's straight because they look like a woman but they're really gay like like get a grip <laughs> like, if anyone's curious about together. this go to blair white's replies underneath her photos and you'll see exactly what we're talking about straight men wrestling with their sexuality <laughs> my mom is a low-key blair white fan <laughs> really yeah she's how like, did she even find her <laughs> i don't know i think like after my candace owens debate her algorithm got like <laughs> just filled with right-wing shit I mean, blair white's biggest sin is being like boring i guess i mean i watched one of her jubilee things I thought Chud mentioned on stream once that he had been with a trans woman before. I haven't heard that. I have never heard that. I know he had... <laughs> <clears throat> he had a long debate with a young man called Lorenzo back in the day when he was playing Halo Infinite. It was very early in Halo Infinite's launch. I remember he was playing Halo Infinite. He was on, uh, which map was it? I don't remember which map it was. No, no, no. It won't be on his, uh, I doubt, well, I doubt it'll be on his YouTube. It probably was on his Twitch ages ago, bro. This one definitely was. This one's lost. He was playing a young man called Lorenzo. Oh, I don't know. Was he 17? I don't know. But he was arguing. This was really early in, in Halo Infinite's release. And this Lorenzo guy came on to say, that Chud was gay because he likes femboys and transes. And Chud argued with this guy for like two hours about whether it was gay to be into femboys and transes. Yeah, ages ago on Twitch, he was talking about how he likes femininity. Yeah. But yeah, this guy just came on and was like, yeah, it's gay to like trans and femboys. And he just, he was just on there playing Halo for like so long. I was just like laughing my ass off watching this. So funny. He was deep in the lefty grift. This is crazy, Cope. Is this what is this what uh, new Chud fans are doing? Is this the mental gymnastics they're they're playing? It was the lefty grift. It was they didn't actually mean that. <laughs> he didn't actually mean that. That was when he was he was just saying that to be nice to Demon Mama. <laughs> and I was just like, what is the point of this? Like the point of this is like. Mm -hmm. I don't know to me like J Jubilee the way that Jubilee is always stacked is on the liberal side you have just a bunch of randos yeah. that are found like signed up for Jubilee and got picked magically and then on the other side you have like literally TP USA ambassadors for the conservative side I don't know if it's that they can't they're in cahoots with them or they can't find conservative young people except these people that are literally paid and working for these orgs but that tends to be like the breakdown so I feel like anytime I see like if I see an influencer like Buck Angel or Blair White included in any of those, I'm like, I can't help but feel like they're trying to set a certain agenda with that. Or like, come at it from a certain perspective. Well, anyone can apply to go on, basically. So I'm, Yeah, but who are they picking? Yeah, but I'm 99% sure what happens is that they tell their people... Finster is trans now. Finster is trans, okay? Well, apply, 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 apply. Because uh, it, totally nothing to do with the huge amounts of money they were being given to wear increasingly feminine clothes. And present in increasingly feminine ways. I apply, apply, or whatever. Yeah, but they have to be disclosing that, like, I'm a fucking brand ambassador for... Are they? I don't turning think they points are. Or, yeah, because they always tell them. Or they they usually say that they are. Sometimes they'll say, like, conservative activist or whatever. Yeah. And then for the normie people, they'll just say, like, liberal or conservative. If, yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think my guess is that you probably have, for whatever reason, a lot more liberal people um, applying to go on the show than you do the conservatives. So the conservatives that do apply are already, like, media personalities. That might be a byproduct of it being in California, and that if you want to do it, you have to like pay for your flight or your stay or whatever.
I, it just seems so contrived. It mm-hmm. seems so boring. Like, are you convinced that Jubilee is like a low key um, right wing psyop operation? Well, if something? you look at the comment section, it tends to be people that lean. Their audience seems to lean conservative. That's interesting. I mean, like, it's not. There's some like. It also tends to be like the topics that they want to debate. You know, like mm-hmm. certain things like that they want to find like a middle ground on is like virgins versus like you know sex workers, and I'm like. What is there to debate about this? Like, I don't know. I didn't even know. You're a slut. You're an incel. Well, well, it's already assuming that sex workers have an issue with virgins and vice versa. Yeah. You know? So, like, sometimes, like, the framing or, like, the things that they're emphasizing or whatever, like, there's editorial choices being made in, like, what subjects that they think are obviously the most important to, like, spotlight at that time. Yeah. So... Part of I, mean, think- I think that's probably just tapping into like I mean yeah that is going to attract conservatives for sure but I don't think that's because they're uh, assuming an opposition between those two things it's just two people with highly different life experiences and perspectives and they're making them talk right I mean I'd have to see the title I guess I think so like yeah they're they're somewhat you know socially moderate or conservative I and then at the end of the maybe it could just be as simple as they just want as many clicks as possible i think it is i, I feel like that trends but that well, yeah. that will necessarily trend to okay. be like reactionary that this is just... more conservative than anything yeah i guess that makes sense um fuck i'm trying to think is there any conservative person you really want to talk to that you haven't had the chance yet? huh they're like tons tons i feel like, like conservatives are fun to talk to they are fun to talk to like i would talk to i was jealous you guys talk to candace owens i want to talk to candace owens yeah i want to talk to her again. Dude, i want to go hard uh, 1.5 I, f- I, I was I cucked like... ryan cucked my candace owens conversation so hard <laughs> we'll like, every time we we're get into it he was like let's change the subject they're like oh like let's not get into the weeds and it's Which like is no. weird because all of these people are on youtube and stuff like that they're so. fucking seasoned faders let me go like, i was i was being so nice about it too i was like well yeah because it's only good for them if they get to get into it yeah they want to get into it and, and debate so i don't understand why he kept like kneecapping the conversation i think he was afraid that if they came out bad, looking bad somehow they would not come back but it's like dude just i think i think it would incentivize them to come back even more a little bit where it's like oh well you made a fool of yourself last time with this like liberal chick like come prove yourself you know liberal chick yeah liberal chick uh, I mean, to them, there's only like liberals and conservatives. There's nothing outside of that, or like super ultra progressive. Uh, I mean, I consider myself progressive more than anything else. Uh, I consider myself a communist. So <laughs> more than that, but I mean, that's I, I think it's a joke to even try to bring that up. You are not our target audience, but feel free to watch every episode on stream. I, I mean, I will watch every episode on stream unless someone <laughs> MCAs me. I appreciate the permission, regardless. I feel like there are people who might be into that okay, game. Listen. Up on those. I don't want to talk about it. I think it's not because I'm ashamed of it. Or whatever. It's like I think I think yeah, it's a thanks, conversation Goy. because you spend so much time just explaining to people what basic definitions are related to anything that's like left of center in the country that it's, it's not an interesting conversation, dude. If you or they're like lumping you in with like Mao's China and like tankies and stuff like that, so I'm like, no, there's no point in like having this discussion. It's not fruitful. I was about to say, if you went on there and you're like, oh, I'm communist, it'd be like, you know how many people like have died, died in, in like communist China? China? People, it's when the government owns your toothbrush. Like wasted time conversation, not interesting to me. Yeah. Um. Or they try to have these like grand debates of like capitalism versus socialism, mm-hmm. which is like it could not be more uninteresting to me to have a conversation that starts from that that premise it's like literally it's the same way that like creationism ver- creationist debates versus like you know evolutionary mm-hmm. biologists actually like got really boring really quickly or whatever yeah. it's only novel like the first one or two times like there's like that you watch those types of things but like I, I just i can't see that there's a consistent target audience between the 30 minutes of discussing being in high school and college and then the 30 minutes of discussing debate panels online i just don't see that there's a a consistent demographic here that's <laughs> Bill Nye wasting his time talking to a creationist. I know that he's talking to them for the audience, but I'm like, there's no point in even like legitimizing this position. It's a joke. You know? I feel like for me, the biggest problem is that like when they talk about, um, <laughs> I think it's so funny when people don't know anything about economics, try to talk about like capitalism or like almost any economic system. I'm just like, most of the time I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> like you never bring up that you have an econ degree. I you know, I do that. People. I mean, I low-key did that with like, um, at SOS cast last time where they were like, oh, well we can't raise the minimum wage because then the price goes back to the consumer. So it basically is no, no effect. You push back against that in a really substantial way. Yeah. And everyone's like, you don't know basic. Any, any, anytime anyone throws out that you don't know basic econ you i'm like no, she she has has like hope, you know well yeah i was like they're like this is econ 101 and i'm like okay but like let's move to econ 102 oh yeah i thought that was smooth when you said yeah that. like there's another level to this were you good i was not good at like ap mm-hmm. economics in high school yeah no i mean i think i had like pretty decent grades i ended up with a b plus which was not the best but um yeah it's not an a yeah it's not an a but also one two of my courses i took um what i got i was sick with covid at that time and i didn't realize that there was like a process where you could just do like pass or fail instead so there was like um like one or two courses where i got like a c plus because i couldn't submit all my work in time because i had covid and it's like they gave me an extension but even then it was just like well it's not real so uh, yeah it's okay <laughs> um so then that brought down my grade point average like B plus, whatever <laughs> i'm being uptight about this um but honestly i generally hate math i do not like math econ is the only math that i like i don't say i enjoy it but i understand it and i feel like um 
econ's one of those things where if you understand the basics like everything else just follows like you can basically extrapolate everything else they teach you if you just get the basics right so for me that's econ, what my teacher said so yeah it's, so it's if you beautiful agree with my teacher <laughs> yeah and then obviously yeah that's that's the only math i can i mean yeah doing. i mean i guess that is somewhat true of like any subject or whatever if you fail to grasp the basics you're never gonna be able to like move off of it but like it actually surprised me just how much of the beginning of econ related back to the like rudimentary lessons that okay. you <laughs> learn whereas like most other subjects attempts you already move over to like intermediary and like advanced steps and like not abandon the basics or whatever but like you need to know the ba- like same way you just learn the alphabet and the phonics and you move on to like sentence structure and grammar yeah. and like things that are more advanced or whatever like big leaps or whatever you don't really do it takes a while for you to do that in economics yeah i mean i what is it <laughs> one time i saw this tiktok about like oh i'm getting close stepping out random class or whatever and like the whole board was covered in math equations and they were like what is this like oh my god this looks so advanced and i was like i feel i recognize that as econ and i was just like no like it's actually really fucking simple it looks scary <laughs> so but it's not yeah like anything that's above like calc one for me is terrifying like i can't do that so yeah. i promise you when i say econ is more simple than people make it out to be it is i liked math but i wasn't good at it oh that's so sad i feel like most people don't like math as a subject or whatever which I... is weird to me i'm just gonna like you can manage that calorically yeah. but they edit out them swallowing so how do people not tell that they're not actually consuming the food people seem to genuinely think and they have like hundreds or thousands of likes of like oh my god you eat like how like a woman should and you don't gain any weight of an amazing figure because like, they're not eating dude there's so many videos where um i think that are like super clear <laughs> satire or super clear like jokes that a woman Hey, I just, I was switching something else, like, oh, man. Okay. 